I mean, fuck it. Free advertisement. So. Who the fuck am I? I'm the guy trying to fly by most. I gotta drive my ride, I boast. You ever eye my side piece, don't. Cause I got a piece on my side, no, I don't. I got my CD on repeat, cause the beast beat that sub. Power up like DBZ, no GT, that sucked. Except for Super Saiyan 4, that shit was fire. Fire as fuck. So when I release an MP3, better retweet and love. I'm officially meta, better get the four walls. War calls, more fall. Pop corny rappers like Gorball. Red and Baka hotter than the core, y'all. I can switch a style up. Spit it slow as dial up, watch you fidget getting riled up It'll take a while, but I'm spitting vile, bruh You would never believe that I sucked when I first rap. Now all I ever get is love, and I earn that All this sweat, tears, and blood, fans return that Look at all this shit I've done, I can't turn I'm back fun You know, this in hip-hop, I think, uh I think we don't take enough time to just enjoy what we're doing. I think we focus so much on being serious, you know, being lyrical and being talented that we, we don't even stop to just think about how great the shit we do is. And I'm going to try to change that perspective. So let's do this. Yeah. I've been giving everything inside my heart and all my music can be solo Master of the art, with a lot of dark, day and night inside my dojo Can I pull some bitches with the witness like a boat, homie, that's a row row All my fans be watching me like a body cam or a GoPro They don't Doesn't really matter what beat I beat up Cause the industry shows me no love, just like Vegeta Except for Dragon Ball Super, they kinda been, uh Really be giving my boy love, so you rappers better play dead like a zombie with a toy gun. Man, I live with my music, so live it to do with the gift. Terrific, terrific, it's a given to you. Gotta work the pen until your hand is falling off, and then you feel the genius spitting through you. Nobody told me like ever that I would be killing it. I'm living my life for the minute I'm giving it relevant. Damn it, I'm murdering beats. You can hear them in the streets like a megaphone on an elephant. Man, I'm just so real. Catch me in the back, chilling with your mom. Drinking nigga bombs with the baker on. Talk about a song, shitty rapper songs. Yup, shitty rapper songs, dude. I really didn't want to Had to put you on blast But if I get basic is back upon you And I think It's really important that You know we get these opportunities uh, to, to still Be topical and still be able to, to Flex your abilities Musically but I think it's so important you know, to, to also Be able to just Say what you want to even if it isn't, you know, super crazy topical or anything like fuck Dragon Ball, you know? <laughs> Gotta get another try while I'm popping off. Blast the knob on a rap song like Team Rocket Jaw. Scatter your ashes to the mist like I got Brock involved. I'm like a midget playing T ball, I can't knock it off. <laughs> Me and my team, we see past the lot. Energy seething, we had to stop. All I'm trying to say is it's fucking bullshit that the legendary Super Saiyan Brawly's trigger word was Kakarot! I'm about to beat the brakes off of your bitch ass. You got no class, and your girl, when she gets so past all around the room like an old flask. I could even do better with no raps on an old Mac as an old man. Every time I spit a verse, it's so potential. You was thinking I was Gohan, ready for Rohan, ready for war plans, ready for anyone thinking they got dope, man. Consider this, you find a warning. You should take a chips and get about the dope, man. Grab your coat, man. We give no hand. Anybody who be rapping so bland, I don't give a fuck. I'm having fun, and I am free. You waiting, then you was no fan. Oh, my sin's not ready. I am ready. You just, you literally just put your, I'm checking off your mic because you smacked your mic around getting your headphones on. So? That counts. God, I'm right here. Have you seen ALR Min? She's a big lot. We, we might have to do a stream tomorrow. Our first Amber stream in like eight months. Yeah, we're far behind on Amber, apparently. No, we're two videos. Yeah, that's a lot. No, it's not. For not for Amber. Is. Yeah, it is. For us, it might be, but for Amber, it's not a lot. Okay. Well, we might have to do a stream on this tomorrow. The truth about my weight loss. We'll get into this tomorrow. But today, we have Ramadan raging. Oh, that's not allowed. We have daytime Ramadan raging. That is definitely not allowed. It, Amber lied in the video to admitting. Yeah, I can't wait. 
We have daytime Ramadan raging. This is gonna be this is gonna be pretty good. Uh, Shelly is being abusive to her microphone. I am. Yeah, she is. You guys are only four hours behind me this week. The UK does not time change at the end of the yeah. Um, that, that's fun to work out with your uncle twice a year, yeah. literally every year, and we still haven't figured it out yet. Because <laughs> every time, right before the time change, we're like, are we starting early or later? We want to stick with America. We're like, I think you're starting uh, early. <laughs> every year. We still haven't figured it out. Uh, let's see what we got hanging out. Lone Wolf Pondu. Hello. Uh, Wild Spirit. What's going on? Hannibal Lechin. Hello. Charlie Izzard. What's going on? Uh, Dozak, Matthew, uh, Spoony Nerd, Pinky, Sam, and Dirt Merchant, Artemita. <coughs> hmm, dying. <coughs> Don't poop your pants. It's 70 degrees today, so my allergies are just going insane. Mad Yikes on Bikes, hello, hello. Quad Reptar, Ellie Steele. Oh, I should take a, what's it called? A retired redneck, Harley Quinn, Shadowclaw, Mama Kimmins. Uh, well, yeah, we could do that tomorrow, right? Yeah, that sounds fun. We'll do that tomorrow. The Ambala stream. Yeah, that'll be pretty good. Uh, don't change your clocks. Be a man. <laughs> <laughs> they change on their own. Uh, spy it, Pondit. Not in the car. Oh, yeah, not in the car. I just saw the TikTok. It's, uh... God damn it, I've been playing Helldiver, so I can't remember what it... Uh, super, super Trooper? No. And it's like, I'm doing my part. And it's a microwave. I'm doing my part. It's a phone. <laughs> I'm doing my part. It's a computer. And then it gets some cards. Like, I didn't do fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> I am. I am very, very loving Helldivers. Oh, your game. That's a fun game. I'm really enjoying it. Everyone got their potato ready for Easter yet? Yes. Okay. Oh, hello, meow. <laughs> I'm getting a tippy tap. Uh oh. Give us a meow. Give it to us. Butter. Oh, that was such a. Oh. Such a squeaky baby meow. And now here comes Jealous. Jealous, you can't meow. You want to woo for us? Tell yeah, us woo. We'll take a woo. Tell him. Tell Dad. Tell him. Oh, a baby woo too. <laughs> we get all the baby sounds today. Pathetic mew and the most pathetic a woo. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> cat noises and Eve before we even got started. Nice. Uh, Sunday, March 31st is Easter. The White what? House is it's doing in potatoes, March this right? Year? Yeah, they're early this year. What the heck's going on? Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's clear they are weak from not enough treats. I think that's probably true. It's okay. Dad can't afford treats right now. <laughs> no treats for you. We're doing the stream. I'm, I'm, I cry for food. Aw, Eve and cries for food. I cry for food and food. Uh, I tray you. I forgot for a second that you do everything backwards over the pond. Our time change is the 31st. It is uh, incredibly stupid and evasive, the time change. Unnecessary. We've invented things like lights and the indoors that make that obsolete. Yes. Anyway, we're not going to sit here ranting about this too long. I forgot for a second you do everything. Yeah, I just read that one. Uh, not enough toothbrushes for Eve. That's she true. actually hasn't eaten a toothbrush in about a week. We've been safe. For about a week. Can I help you? What is the problem? I let you outside, and then two seconds later, you wanted to come in. Now you want to go back out? Okay. Eve wants to go out. Go out? Okay. Here, Otter, you stay with Dad. I'll put the dog outside. All right, we're just going to put you right on the floor. Don't put the cat on the floor. Give her snuggles. No, it's okay. Uh, one whole week record for her. It, no, it's not even a week. It's Ramadan day two when she did this. I can't stand the time change, neither can I. It's awful. She's like a bratty teen. She is a bratty teen. Anyway, we're going to get right into this. So, guys, would you be so kind as to smash the like button, share it out on your socials, all that fun stuff. Uh, if you feel so inclined, Streamlab listed down below, we have... One McKinley package left, all that fun stuff, and we're just going to get right into it. Let me put her at 1.5 and see if we need to increase it from there. He just eats. So I think her time when she did this one was, I want to say like 10 a.m., so she was probably just getting ready to go to bed. I need the light. I have nothing. 
Oh, she got up and just walked. She went live and just walked away. Oh, we're back. That gaming chair. Seconds. My hair is out of control. Sally should have took that to his new house. Probably stinks like Chantel's butt, so I just let her keep it. Cassidy, I'm gonna put um my microphone on. Sound up. Yeah, this is quiet. all the way up, and we're at like. Now we're gonna be at three hundred and fifty percent extra sound. Hello, TWDT, Kiara, Thrillho. Hello, good morning. Crystal, how are you? Surprise. Oh, but this is a rager, so we have this handy. Oh, good. We, she, we gotta is have. She gonna be an angry bean. We gotta have the angry bean handy. I'm getting my mic on, so I can you can hear me better, because Salat is asleep. <laughs> oh, is he? Is. Is he? God damn it. Salah's sleeping during the middle of the day? I thought he's a business CEO. Doesn't he have important work to be doing? Like the wrong thing. I'm afraid like to always have something in my teeth. Okay, there we go. Teeth, but I know I don't. I'll give you 50. There. Is that better? <sighs> it's literally the same. Well, it comes to lunch, Sarah Jean. How are you? How much for your good job? This uh, whole Jill Bob was like 25 bucks. Mary, it is beautiful, yeah. What is beautiful? You're having so whore? Oh, yeah. Well, I hope oh, you enjoy what you're having. Wait, how do you know? How do you, how so do you know that, you. Facebook grandma? When you said he tried to move house, yeah, he tried. He, I don't know, the last time he escaped, he must have went under there too, because look at the pileup of corn. Oh, uh, Harry got out again. The corn stash. Maybe if you got him really, a proper cage. Hello. Oh, she rages about that in here. What? People saying that she needs to get a regular cage. <sighs> no, why? What's wrong with my curtains? I like them. I'll give you 15 for it right now. Well, are you Muslim? Do you want one? Go buy one. They're not that expensive. <clears throat> okay. So, um, it was brought to my attention that people are lying on me. What? <laughs> no, no. People don't lie. Finding entertainment and lying on you my lie. religion. Yeah, you, you lie. You do the lying. And making a mockery of my religion, so. No, nobody's mocking your religion. They're mocking you. I don't you know. are just a person. Your religion is not a shield. I don't know who is out here going, Chantel is representative of all Muslims all the time. Right. If I make fun of Chantel, I, I mean all Muslims, really. Yeah. No, no, nobody, nobody does that. It. They're mocking you, Chantel. I thought I would show you. Um, apparently when I'm praying, I'm not praying in the right direction. So oh, I just want to show oh. you that that's a lie. She's upset uh -huh. that people are saying she's praying in the wrong direction. With the, from that one time she prayed a year ago? No, she did it in the last video and she did it in the wrong direction again. How do they know what direction she's Because that's the C behind her. Right. So then she would have to be praying that way. Oh, okay. 100% lie. She's been watching FFG. She... She must, She probably has notifications on. Oh, I'm sure. Hi, Grandma. That's so, how she as you knows can see, when she's being streamed tonight. She she's got notifications app. popping up whenever anybody starts a live. Oh, yeah. I have an app. Look it. You see, this is my front page of my phone. Yeah, you have an app, but you don't know basic cardinal directions? Her phone should be able to tell her. Phone? My phone has a compass right on it. But you don't know basic cardinal directions? I mean, she should. I do. Here, I know that way's north. Kibla is... That way's east. I know these things. Okay. The direction of prayer, okay? So that's the direction you must face Mecca, all right? Yes, you must face Mecca, the Kaaba. And this is the Quran Pro. It shows me my prayer times, all this and that, all right? So. Put you on open it? Show it to us. Lie number one dispelled. Lie number two. Here, this. That's not a lie. This, this little thing here. This is the, this, this is the, this will show you. This is the Kaaba, okay? The Holy Kaaba. This will show you the direction of prayer. So, as you can see in my video where I was praying here, okay? You see that? That's the direction of prayer. Right here. Right here. Okay. That's... Okay. Maybe, maybe, maybe... That's the sea behind her. Saudi Arabia is the other one. She has not shown us out the window since she moved to this new apartment building. She might not have the oceanfront view in this new apartment building. 
Oh, we don't know. That's true. We do not know. We have not seen those curtains open once since she's been in this unit. She that, might be on the other side. That's possible. I feel like we have seen it, though. I, I doubt that this... I mean, you can see it's a working compass. This is not going to be pointing the wrong direction. Yeah, why, why wouldn't it? It's not an actual compass. Phones, compasses work. Phone compasses work. They're not real compasses. They work. They know. Just like your uh, GPS yes, she knows. Did. Yes, she did. It was in a vlog or two ago. We have seen the curtains open. It's how we know they're on a lower fold. Oh, yeah, that's right. Miss Sin's not listening. Look, there's my phone compass. That's not accurate. That's a That's north. No. That is north. No. Yes. That's not north. That's northwest. Just because the lake is that way doesn't mean that that's north. True, real north is it's, more that it's way. It's right there. I don't, I, no. You're incorrect. But yes, they ha she, she stopped listening completely. <laughs> uh, it's my first girl stream. Forgive the arrogance. I thought we this was some ASMR thing when she ate food the whole time. Thank you to the Discord for clarifying. Well, thank you, Quad Raptor. I appreciate that. Um, yeah, she, she's facing the wrong way for Mecca. Southwest for her. Okay. Okay, so. Yeah. I, I guarantee you the app's wrong. I was Maybe it here. is. This is the direction. But there, she thinks table. she's doing it correctly. Okay. And also, last Ramadan, we were not even in this apartment. We were in the other apartment in Fahahil. And again, there. Hi, Shocker Changes. Hi, everybody. So I imagine Salad finally... would tell her if it was the wrong direction. Salad doesn't. You th does Salad strike you as a religious gentleman? He, he would still know because he sees other people doing it but all day, which you... direction it is. Right? Did you hear her just admit that they're in a different apartment? Just now? Yeah. Did you hear that? No. Listen. And also, last Ramadan, we were not even in this apartment. We were in the other apartment in Fahahil. And... Mm. Yeah, they were in the old... No, they were they in were this. They were in the No Windows apartment. They were in this, Ramadan. weren't they? No. Mm -hmm. Again, last Ramadan, they were in the No Please Windows apartment. Hi, Salad has the IQ of a cashew. We were facing the right direction. My husband's been Muslim his whole entire life, okay? Um, no, he's not perfect. But Salad's too busy pray praying to holy Christian white asses. That's it doesn't matter. He knows, but he should know. Um, the direction of prayer, I'm pretty sure, okay? Compared to people who are criticizing it, saying we don't know, who are not even Muslim, have not prayed a day in their life. Um, now do, okay. Wait, hold on, I gotta hear that again. Hold on, knows, I, I need to hear that one more um, time. The direction of prayer, I'm pretty sure, okay? Compared to people who are criticizing it, saying we don't know, who are not even Muslim, have not... But we know that outside of the window is the sea. Okay, but... And we can tell from where the sea meets land that you are facing the wrong way. Uh, okay, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to be devil's advocate here. The sea is not a straight line. The beach is not Evening a straight line. Welcome to Tucker Carlson. On today's story, political YouTubers and how attractive they are. Oh, now shit. we asked our viewers oh, who they you. believe is the most sexy the most and rated them from Nancy Pelosi to absolute Ooh. Chad. I think Amber would disagree. There was one name who kept She's coming up, sexy. though, and it was uh, Sinatra or says, no, or as he goes by now, Sinatra screams. Clearly, he has a lot of fans. One viewer stated, quote, he has the fattest cock I've ever seen. Now, no one's right. denying I mean, he has a big true. cock. In fact, I've dreamt of riding his horse cock for hours. Just thinking about it gets me absolutely erect like Donald Trump's wall, which he made <laughs> me scream. Now, that motherfucker Sinatra watches my show every Tuesday. So, Sinatra, if you're watching this, leave that bitch Shelly and come get with a real man. You know what they say. You get Rude with the tuck, you get the suck. If you couldn't tell, I've been beating the fuck out of my meat this entire <laughs> time and need to go clean myself up. When we come back from our commercial break, why Sinatra's less sexy side host, Drunkle gets absolutely zero bitches. We have our bitches expert to explain, so stick around. <laughs> Holy shit! History buff for the 501. God damn! Oh, whoa! History buff. I'll take that last McKinley package. Thank you. Very good. It is directly behind me. Thank you, history buff. Uh, I will need your address one more again, and I will uh, literally beat Miss in until she gets it ready this time. Instead of I will make it right. Did it's you get ready. Tina's done? It's ready. We need to get Tina's done. Did you get it done? It's right there. Did you, Did you take it to the mail? No. Okay, then. They're still right where I put them. Yeah. Did you get the everything put on it? It's, it's all made, yeah. Okay, so if I look at it right now, it'll be made. 
It is made. Is it? All the stuff is in it. All the stickers are on it. It's not sealed, and there's no address on it. Oh, well, that part. Oh, my God. <laughs> Get it together, woman. Well, you weren't ready to take it anyways. The p post office is right <laughs> over there. <laughs> well, now we'll take them both. Yeah, you can well, take them both. You'll take them both, and then you can pay for them this time. Oh, okay. Uh, if you look at a Epic Weight, she's praying in the wrong dire the direction of Qatar, not Mecca. Real quick, guys, let's give it up for a history buff. Newest McKinley member. That's a damn song. Thank you, history buff. That is a damn song at the end. I know you love your confetti. Hold on. You, Tina, you got to ask Miss Sun. Forget you. She forgot you. I didn't forget you. I cared. Oh, wait. Where's the thing I'm looking for here? There we go. We'll give you all the confetti history buff. Thank you very much. Let's get hearts in the chat for history buff. Very generous, very kind, and very needed right now. <laughs> That's true. I'm in the shit a little bit sideways over here. I, I know all that money got put together for a new toolbox, but Jesus Christ, that sent me fucking back. God damn. Now look at that. Look at that. Thank you very much, history buff. Thank you, history buff. I prayed. A day in their life. Um, and, God damn it, I'm gonna have to re listen to this whole thing. Uh, hi, Mr. Mrs. Sim. My 23rd birthday is Saturday, and I'm going to an action figure store. Uh, I'll be sure to think of you, son, when I'm looking at all the Dragon Ball Z figurines. Also, hate that I have to share a birthday this month with this sweat swaddled <laughs> cow. <laughs> thank you, retired redneck. And yes, do think of me. Indeed, thank you. Um, an action figure store. We don't have any of those, do we? No, we usually have collectible place. stores. Yeah. I could probably open one up. You, I mean, you could. With your action figures, you could just, yeah, just let I, people look at them. I, things have been, <laughs> and I don't really want to get into this, but things have been so bad, I'm like, oh, I might have to call some figures. I might have to drop the studio, but I'm, I'm going to stretch. I have two things in my life I enjoy. It doesn't matter. He knows um, the direction of prayer. Hmm. And I guess... Uh, a thank you to Miss Sin for buying me a locking handle for my truck cap. Yeah, you won't get stolen from again. Hmm. Well, I'm just pretty sure. Keep okay. your regular doors Compared locked. to people who are criticizing it, saying we don't know, who are not even Muslim, have not prayed. Now I gotta think of a new stringle. So, okay. Damn it, I'm, I'm, I keep wanting to listen to this one part. How do we know that her, like, oh. apartment building isn't set at an angle? Or that the beach isn't curved in that area, and then they're at just the slight angle. Like, how do we know this? Okay. Let's, let's how do we know this? Direction time with the sins. Okay. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. So, here is a building. Yes. Okay. You follow me so far? Yes. Here is a compass. Mm-hmm. Here isn't... A big blue compass, sorry. Here is an ocean. Okay, okay are ocean, ocean straight lines? Yes, in, in my example. Uh, they maybe are. they're not, though. They have like curved edges, and then maybe the building is sit at a little angle this way or that way. Okay. We don't know here how it's laid out there. Is an ocean. Yeah, maybe it's, maybe it's a little curvy, and maybe the building is set a little cockeyed towards the water. We, we don't know unless an we're looking ocean. at like Google map of her apartment building. Well, do you think people didn't do this? I don't know. Here's an ocean. But the ocean is only here. But it might wrap around. It might go this way and that way. It might, I mean, it's, it's got little inlets and what you call it. It's and a curvy edge. It's not just a straight line in one direction. And buildings usually follow the curve of the beach and go up and down and around different ways. Here is the luxury fart box. Uh-huh, but what if it's tipped sideways a little bit? To follow the ocean. But then you would... I'm, I'm, maybe I'm not understanding how no, directions work, not. but I, I feel like directions are not always a straight line, and buildings are not always in a straight line pointing one direction. They could be facing a little southeast or a little northwest, like... Unless you're looking at a, a Google Earth of the building, you don't know which way it's, like, cockeyed sitting. We don't know that. No? Is this not possible? No. It, it, it's... It, you think people haven't done this? I'm just not pulling up a map of her apartment. Okay. Okay, Jesus. My train of thought is valid. Thank you, Susan. Hey. 
Um, no, he's not perfect, but it doesn't matter. He knows um, the direction of prayer, I'm pretty sure, okay? Compared to people who sure. are criticizing it, saying we don't know, sure. know, who are not even Muslim, have not prayed a day in their life. Um, I mean, we know Islam she's only prayed like twice ever. Yeah, that, that, that's true. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter that one time she made a show of making a prayer for the first day of Ramadan doesn't really mean she's a praying Muslim. Read Hammond Bean's comment while I come up with a new one. It's not possible for her to be facing southwest in the direction she was facing. If anything, the building was cockeyed, she would be praying further to the east. Okay. I mean, I don't know which direction she's even supposed to be facing, but I'm just thinking toward, maybe uh, the ocean is not a straight line. That's all I was thinking. Toward uh, Saudi Arabia. That's where Mecca is. Okay. And Courtney Lynn said Kuwait has a huge inlet. Look at the map. So maybe her building's facing the inlet. Do we, do we know? I don't. I didn't. I didn't look up the Google Earth. I'm not. <laughs> I didn't watch any stream of someone looking up the Google Earth. So I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Shelley's train of thought is rapidly wild. <laughs> <laughs> On the prayer, have not prayed so long. I'm judging. Day in life. I, you know what? I'm just letting it go. <laughs> uh, no, nothing. I gotta pick my battles. I live this, so I, I know when to just be like, yes, babe. <laughs> Are Islamophobic and just plain ignorant. We, is it Islamophobic to question the direction of your building? I don't think so. We had to do that the other day. I don't remember what it was about, but what you said threw me off so wildly. I was just like, all right, babe, yeah, that's fine. What are you even talking about? I, I don't remember what it was, but it threw me so bad. I have no idea what you're talking about. Who are not even Muslim, have not prayed. Did I? I no, that's spelled correctly, isn't it? Ramadan, R-A-D-M-A-N. R-A-D-M-A-N. Oh, all right. -A -A. Uh, you spelled Ramadan incorrectly. That's Islamophobic. I didn't. R A M A D I M. Oh, okay. A day in their life, um, an Islamic prayer. Have not prayed a lot. A day me. in their life. No, you're not coming um, to bother me again. I walked you downstairs like you wanted for no reason. Okay, we're trying to do a show, Eve. Compared to people who are criticizing it, saying we don't know, who are not even Muslim, have not prayed a day in their life, um, an Islamic prayer. Have not prayed Salah a day in their life. I don't have need not to pray Salah. Salah. Why are we praying Salah? You worship me as good. <laughs> uh, no, nothing. Are Islamophobic and just plain ignorant and dumb. So, yeah. Um, so, there you go. <laughs> All right. I don't have an undercap on, so my hijab is slipping. So, she has proof it's, like, it's that her app tells her to, to point that direction. <laughs> and she's at least proved that. Mm -hmm. She wasn't purposely doing it wrong. If she was doing it wrong, she was following an app that was telling her to do it the wrong way. Okay. Okay. We had some bingo catching up to do. Uh, no thumbnail, stream boss. I can read. Oh my god, content. Yes. A no squee. X to doubt that she's praying at all. Uh, Shelly has not been shreked. We did have a perfectly timed dono and an awoo. We hit goal and club. You have not threatened to call the cops. Uh, no lighter noises, hearts in the chat. No farts on Shelly. That don't matter. I'm going to just lean over here and take a look see poo at this. Uh... The sun does indeed rise through her window, so it seems like she's facing southeast. Then should she be facing... Yes. Uh, 411 watching and 90 likes. Oh, that doesn't math. That doesn't math. That's terrible math, guys. Smash the like button. Share it out. Do the, the thing down below if you want. And all that fun stuff. No neighbor shenanery. I am sore as fuck from the gym on Monday. Holy goddamn. I've changed my workout. Usually I do five by five. But I'm doing each muscle group twice now. So it's five by eight, usually. Oh. All right, there we go, very good. This conversation we shouldn't even be having. Like there's an entire community of bored people who have no life and no content. So they make content out of bagging on a Muslim for their how they practice their religion. When they're- But you don't practice it, and I- You're not a Muslim and you're not practicing anything. I, I, under no other circumstance would I just accuse somebody of not being religious. No, but she films her entire Ooh. life. And we can see her when, like, the prayer siren is going off and her just not doing but it. But she just ignores it. Right. They're the biggest crowds on this planet. And are surely, like, who, how are you going to judge somebody for how they practice their religion when you're the most vile people on the internet and you shouldn't be? <laughs> the most vile people on the internet. Well, you don't know those people. Maybe they go to church every Sunday and practice their own religion. Why are they vile? But remember who she brought on the internet and has defended on the internet. Mm -hmm. Nader, mm -hmm. Karate Joe, mm -hmm. Cyrax. Mm -hmm. Even have a platform. Like, I don't get it. 
Well, non-Muslims yeah, are worse than all of them, clearly. Mm -hmm. Reverted, this community suddenly became Islamic scholars. Exactly, exactly. And they're wrong. You know? For getting salads, a giant sex weirdo. Oh, no, yeah. like, um, I heard on uh, okay. your mama's stream, um, a crappy reactor say, and she didn't pray in the right direction last year. What? You're, this is just lies. Like, flat out lies. We weren't even in this apartment last year. <sighs> Hi, Teardrop. Only God can judge, exactly. Those would be, like, people don't understand, like... Oh, I don't know. It's so one. disrespectful and so disgusting. So I want, just wanted to say that basically, show you the Qibla and uh, talk to you guys for a bit. So yeah. I'm vile because her eating fills me with bile. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Serotonin. Yep, exactly. Yes, alhamdulillah. Okay, I don't know what time it is where you guys are, but it's like 8 a.m. here, so. Quit okay, giving her yeah. all the gummy bears, Dad. <sighs> Save some for mom. I mostly do, Kyla, but this is like an entire community of like Islamophobic people, just like <laughs> an entire community of Islamophobic people. Right. Because Chantel is Islam. Mm -hmm. Making a mockery entirely of the religion, like especially no, during you. Ramadan. Like, are you serious? Like, get a life. It's 8 a.m. here. <laughs> Thanks, Crystal. I'll are they making know. a mockery? Like, are they pulling up videos of, of just random Muslims and saying, ha ha, look at these Muslims doing their Muslim stuff. No, they're talking about Chantel. And it's just Chantel. It's just Chantel. And for the yeah. most part, I don't even like- You know how much I love you? Uh, You're my best friend. Uh, Wanna hold hands? See, I know- I you. She ah! Because her box is late. You deserve it. I do deserve that, Tina. I deserve that, Tina. In one job. <laughs> Out of like four that I actually have you do. Uh-huh. Oh, the loads. What's going on? Uh, cause Shelly needs farts for forgetting me. Mm -hmm. I can send puppy pictures. I'm about to head home from dialysis. I just wanted to say hi, and I love you. I love you too, Tina. Thank you. And I'm doing the work. Uh-huh. I love it? you more, Tina. <laughs> and I love your puppy. Yeah, I'm okay. It is a cute dog. I'm okay. Really, Crystal? It's very peaceful. I know. Like uh, There are reactors who are Muslims. Like, are you serious? I have been very much enjoying are you serious's uh streams and content those are very good the well i'm sure she would know. say she's a fake muslim oh of course she does she goes what kind of muslim talks bad about another muslim you fake bitch and shit like that mm -hmm. it's like okay do you, are you just not listening to yourself how hypocrisy of you what does that it gives you chills like there's a video of like a guy reciting um a quran around like a pasture of animals and they all come to him it's so weird yeah animals come to people when they're talking or singing or doing things Animals are interested in what humans are doing. Did you see the video of the guy who put a Coke can on a post in a cow field and like all the cows are just staring at it? Yeah, they're very interested in things. I'm kind of making a big deal how you cut your chicken, right? I love Are You Serious? I highly recommend. If someone could drop her a link, one of the mods could drop her link in the chat. I highly suggest everyone go check it out. She also uh, outright disproves a lot of the fake stuff Foodie says about Islam. Yeah. Like Muslims aren't allowed to go swimming or, or women, show their chin or women aren't allowed to walk around. Right. <laughs> you know, like just crazy shit. She she's pretty good with all that. Like somebody who sleeps with a child predator or a sex offender makes fun of how I come. Like, OK, I'll recreate it. No problem. Um, you That's true. Uh, she does give Chantel a lot of leeway and a lot of uh, wiggle room with how Chantel rea or, uh, not reacts. Um, d does her. Islam. You know what? I'm on Thursday. I can't drink. I didn't even have to cut the chicken. Like, whenever. Mad Yikes on Bikes, Southern Gothic, and Ham and Beans. Thank you guys very much. Much appreciated. Will you simmer a chicken for long enough? Hi, Ava. Thank you. It falls apart. So I literally only had to tear it apart. Like, basically, it actually just fell off. Like, the spine, everything just fell off, basically. And then I roasted it in the oven. It's a very. I pinned, uh, I pinned it in the chat. Pinned it? Pinned it. I pinned it in the chat. Guys, go give that a follow. Very good content. And fucking funny, too. The fork thing is hilarious. Very common way of cooking. Like, again, people are just ignorant. Like, recreate it yourself. Simmer the chicken for long enough, it will come right off the bone. You don't have to cut it. <laughs> like, there's no... I, I, I know. I can't with these people. I can't. It's food all going to the same place. Like, what's the conspiracy about... Like, I don't get it. Like, people are so bored, have no content. It's really embarrassing. Are you not embarrassed or what? Are you <laughs> not embarrassed about bones in your spaghetti? Are right. you not entertained? Does that in the crock pot? Yeah, Crystal, but I don't have a crock pot, so I slow cook in a big pot. Yeah. Ava, it's so stupid. I know, Krista. Hey, Krista. Hey, Pink Pony Club. Amy, hello. I'm honestly just so over this person. This trash bag of. 
she is extra annoying today. She's, I don't even know what she's mad about. She's hungry and she's thirsty. You think? She just said, I want a drink, but I can't have a drink. Oh. <laughs> she's hungry and she's thirsty. Human. Just You're ready to go to bed. Just go to bed. It's no. 8 a.m. It's bedtime. She's on live and she can't eat or drink and she likes to do that in front of the camera. Is coming from me and my religion and how I practice and every little thing I do, like to the point where, like, I swear, if somebody bought me a plane ticket today, I would go next week to Canada. <laughs> Aren't you embarrassed? Says Mrs. Fake Husband, who has a poop fetish. Right. Just to see the. Oh, neighbor Schnattery. Listen, to that. they're going to. It's to motorcycle time. It's a Probably sunny day. Stale leggings off of them. I would 100%. I know. Uh oh, big oh, sorry. And how I practice and every little thing I do, like to the point where, like, I swear, if somebody bought me a plane ticket today, I would go next week to Canada just to sue the crappy. Okay. Is she going to sue people? There's again? a lot to unpack there. It's if so somebody important. bought me a plane ticket because I can't afford one myself. Is she going to afford a lawsuit? I'm going to, yeah. <laughs> how much does she think a lawsuit is? Oh, they're going to take her case pro bono because they're going to be like, ah. Oh. A lady on the internet doesn't yeah. like you. Yeah, let me right. let me represent you for free, ma'am. We'll take everything from her. FFG <laughs> offered to buy her a plane ticket. <laughs> wow. Stale leggings off of them. I Felony fork case sport claws. <laughs> nice, mad yikes on bikes. I like the. Now that I know she's hangry, I think this this stream goal is gonna stay. Oh yeah. I would a hundred percent. I know. Uh oh, big God. <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasant at all. Oh no. <sighs> I've been taking um, omeprazole, like, because I've been taking a lot of, like, anti inflammatories, which I haven't actually t taken any, like, um, today yet. Well, I can't really, I guess. <laughs> so, but, like, I'm in a bit of pain, but um, I took omeprazole last night, and, like, I don't know. It's, it's been literally, like, three months. There is no way you still have sciatica. No. How long does sci... Talk to the chat for a second. She has sciatica until she, forever because she doesn't want to go on walks anymore. It, Four weeks. No. Six weeks at the longest. She just doesn't want to be asked, why aren't you going outside? Take us on walks. Go to the beach. So she needs an excuse to stay in the house. So, like, feels so weird in my stomach. Um... Yeah, it's kind of warm. I have the AC turned all the way down. <laughs> it's for my stomach, yeah. I don't know if it's like to protect my stomach from like, you know, taking anti inflammatory I have to like cut down on them, actually, so. I don't know. Vanessa, Do you hear her the emoji. Mm hmm. <laughs> I'm afraid like to always have something in my teeth, but I know I don't. I brush them. What? You did not brush them. This is a lie. When are you ever worried? About having something in your teeth. Never. <sighs> Half the time we can see the fuzzy front of your teeth from here. The beach looks incredibly beautiful. Yeah, it really is. But I'm like nervous. It's weird that she has no lights on. <laughs> She's sitting I always there forget how like, see if I don't wear an undercap under my hijab, it like slips down all the time. I think because the window is open, so all the lights going so forward. So much, yeah. he decided to go right to jail. Right to jail. Right, to jail. right, <laughs> away, right away. That's a good one. Uh, foodie, you were got foodie. You were a God fearing Christian. <laughs> foodie, you were a God fearing Christian like five minutes ago. Now you found salad. Suddenly you're a Muslim. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. She was reading us Bible passages before she found salad. Yeah, she was. <laughs> oh, so annoying. Yeah, the Chantel's know, yeah. unflicked bean. They're very, fused awesome. together. Like more than you can imagine. My mouth is dry. Okay, I don't know how I'm people like go to more. work and school and focus like fasting like this. I don't know. It's crazy, you know. And th think about it. You sleep all damn day. You're up till eight a.m. and it's sunny out, so you can't eat. As far as I know, you can't eat when the sun is out. Right. So you got to probably wait till like six p.m. or something. Yeah. Till it gets dark time. But I imagine a lot of people do that. A lot of people get up and they don't have breakfast and they go to work and they don't eat anything till like they get home from work in the day. Yeah, I usually like, don't eat. I wake up at 4 to 5.30. I won't eat till about 11. I don't know how people can do this. What, well, go, can, eight, go eight hours without food? You don't know how people can do this? Well, it's because she can't go <laughs> eight minutes without wanting something to eat. 
what bothers me is how often they repeat the same stuff. Yeah, like, talk about beating a dead horse over and over and over. Like, that just proves to you that they need my crappy content. If my content, if I have no content, then what do you have? Your content is literally picking at how I cut my chicken or how I'm praying in the wrong direction when that's not even true. So you're literally inventing. But our content is this stuff, and we make it better. Mm -hmm. We make the content much better. ...lies just to keep your hate-hungry audience eating something because they have nothing. Nothing, zilch, no life. And these are adults. Or imagine uh, just beating today. Imagine what kind of mother is raising a child fat-shaming another woman on the internet. We can see roles... Oh, in there oh, we go, the mothers. Up kids. Yeah, gotta, um, gotta get a dig at the mothers who she's so jealous yeah, yeah. of. And? What's your point? I'm fat. Does it look like I care? <laughs> What kind no, of, clearly what kind you of don't person, care. Like, just sit there and body shame somebody for content. Bye, run away. Howie, thank you. I could, but I'm not going to. Yeah. That's your job. <laughs> yes, yes. He, I was so worried about him. Oh, but he's okay. <laughs> thank you, Teardrop. They want to get you going. Well, yeah, fine. I'll speak out about their lies and their hypocrisy and their Islamophobia then. What hypocrisy and what is Islamophobia? What lies? None. Actually, other than stuff when he comes over, <laughs> Crystal. <laughs> that's okay. I mean, you don't know. You know, you forget. Not to even drink in front of him. I think that's the hardest part is like the no water thing. <sighs> For sure. But Alhamdulillah, it's possible. It's not. It's not like horrible. You know. It's not like it's like twenty four hours. You know. It's just from sunrise to sundown, whatever. You yeah, can, like, it's not type. that long. So you. We know. You could be sleeping right now instead of complaining about it. <clears throat> we know. That there is zero percent chance Chantel is fasting if Salad's not there. No, if Salad's not there, she's doing whatever the hell she wants. She gets up and she runs her little feet to the kitchen. Mm-hmm. And she she's eating all that pita bread. Yep. Hi, Sigmund. Doesn't chicken kind of fall apart in the same place as when it's cooked? How they were both legs were even. It's not like I up close. Like, next time I'll up close the skin to show you the skin placement. In some places, it was curled up a little bit. Oh, God. I'm sorry. I don't think that she cooks anything that looks generous. Or generous. Uh, that looks uh, edible. I was reading the chat. No, she cooks some weird shit. You, can, you just can't swallow the water, Gracie. But you can brush your teeth. Yeah. Yeah, so, like... So maybe she brushed her teeth today because she felt like she could have some toothpaste? Brush your teeth so and drink, but just don't brush my teeth for once. <laughs> <laughs> so. Sometimes if my mouth gets really dry, I just put a bit of water in and spit. So. That's you can't do that. You you can't do that. That's well Salah told her she can't. No, he didn't because you can't. That's not how that works. Uh are you serious? Debunk that. So it's sad that I like I guess I didn't have to do that's true, Hammond Bean. She doesn't have to pretend to be fasting. She's a diabetic. She has a medical excuse. This is literally all for show. That's true. Yeah. This, but yes, I did. Because if you're going to lie about my, me and help my religion, like, too bad for you. I would never make it through all my time. You would be exempt to your job because you have, you know, illnesses and stuff. And I do too. Technically, I don't have to fast. Like, if I ever feel very, very unwell or not, like, if I needed to, then I would. Yeah. But that's between me and Allah. You know, I'm not going to, like, talk about it on live and I'm not going to, like, announce it publicly, but... Sorry, I got a text. What What is she not talking about on live? She, I, I, I don't know. I don't think I was following that. So <laughs> she's only talking to Allah about something. Did you do this? But yes, I did. Because if you're going to lie about my, me and help my religion, like, too bad for you. Who's lying? I feel like it's some, she was re answering something in the chat, but I don't know what it was. I would never make it through all my time. You wouldn't be exempt here, draw because you have, you know, illnesses and stuff. And I do too. Technically, I don't have to fast. Like, if I ever feel very, very unwell, or I, like, if I needed to, then I would, yeah. But that's between me and Allah, you know? <laughs> oh, so she's saying she's going to just, yeah, because Teardrop said I would never make it through Ramadan. And she said, well, you have medical excuse. Well, I do too. And if I, if I fuck up, then I don't have to tell anybody on live. I can just tell Allah. That's what she's saying. This is the thing. Man. It's either you're in it or you're not. She's not. She's just thought of herself an excuse. You're, I, you're either doing it or you're not. Like, I'm not Catholic, but I still don't do meat on Fridays. Yeah. Because I was raised. It's a tradition for me. Mm-hmm. I don't go, well, unless I really have to eat meat. Like, right. just, I just don't do it. That's true. You don't do it. Like, it's not, it's not something that I do as a, oh, look at me, I'm special kind of thing. It's something I've always done. Mm -hmm. And I've never lived anything, like any, anything you do. 
okay, you're, you're stopping to smoke cigarettes. Well, if I have a cigarette once in a while, that's okay. Right. Well, I'm going to s- no more Coke. Well, if I have Coke, everyone. No, you either do it or you don't. Right. What is this shit? Well, I'm not going to like talk about it on live and I'm not going to like announce it publicly, but. You just did announce it publicly, stupid. You just said I put water in my mouth and swish it. Mm-hmm. So far, so good. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Some weird conspiracies. Because she has no brain. Like, this is not just. You consider fish to be meat? No, we never did. Shaming her? It's legit. She has very low intelligence. Again, I don't know the. Uh, Catholicly, if they do or not, but uh, we always considered fish to be fine. To be able to, to to not realize certain things, like like people I don't Sinatra's Thursday meat binge. I am I am <laughs> so fucking hungry, dude. It's not even funny. People who are thought for sure Miss Sim would have brought home food for the kids, but no. Intelligent no, and have a life. They don't sit today. there and discuss. <laughs> yes, fish, fish. Dumb weird petty things and pick apart the life of somebody else and like make up lies and attack religions and like Kids discuss have religions in the kitchen they can eat i don't need to buy on how food. another how muslims worshiping when you're not even muslim or comparing a muslim to an- it, well beaver was labeled as fish because so i forget where it was because it lives in the water maybe no it's because that was the only non cattle there was no fish in that area yeah, I don't I don't remember where there it was. There were beavers, but not fish? Yeah, there was like, or the fish weren't fit for consumption. Huh. It was something like that, so they considered beaver fish, so people could have something to eat. Another person, I saw um, another lowlife do that, comparing, oh, well, we're going to compare her, how she does her vlogs and worships and all this other stuff, um, how she does her vlogs during Ramadan. You're right, Look, Janet. Ramadan I didn't bring home food for the kids because I'm too obsessed with hating on Chantel to be a good parent. That's exactly what it is. That's... That's Accurate. exactly what it was. I was like, I need to bully fat women on the internet, starve children. Yep. That's exactly what happened. See, and how many fancy abayas you can afford to wear. Maybe that person has more money than us. Like, what are you doing? Like, shaming someone's finances now? Like, maybe that person... No. I, well, yes, I am. Because I'm, I'm poor, poor. Well, was much more poor before the stream started. But I... The body is round. As a poor person, I feel pretty... Safe sitting here and going, this broke bitch can't afford a flight to Canada, knowing I couldn't afford half of a flight to Kuwait. Well, a flight to Canada has got to be very fucking expensive, and I don't blame her for not being able to afford a flight to Canada, but even if somebody bought her ticket, she ain't gonna sue nobody. What the fuck is she even talking about? I couldn't afford a flight to Canada from Cleveland, let alone Kuwait. Uh, anonymous, the body is so round. <laughs> so poor. It's so wrong. <laughs> Big ups to anyone who gets that reference. Uh, and yes, thank you again, History Buff. <laughs> I'm late to the show. Catch me up to speed so far. Hangry. Yeah. H- hangry. Yeah. Uh, what's going on with our repulsive, raging, Ramadan, repugnant reality we call Chantel? Yes, I intentionally do that to irritate you, Sin. Well, you didn't get me. I love you both. Hope you and the Sinians are well. Thank you, Good. Liz. Thank you. We're, we're all starving to death. Actually. I am very impressed that you read all those words correctly. Good job, man. Repulsive, babe. raging, Ramadan, repugnant reality? Yeah, you did a good job. You didn't even fumble them up. You did good reading. I, Excellent work, my dear. I, okay. A person has <laughs> a different you. lifestyle. Like, I'm not all about that. I don't care. I'm not going to waste all my money on trinkets when I can give it to the... Man, I would... I would love to waste all my money on trinkets. Where do we get these fancy trinkets from? I would from? push Miss Sin out this window for a steak right now. Poor, which is oh. what the spirit of Ramadan is about. It won't help you it's get about a stake, and think. donating and praying. It's not about how many fancy decorations you can put in your apartment. Like, if I can get somebody outside the window ready to bring me up a New York strip with steamed broccoli, you're going out. The Wait, window. doesn't she have new fancy trinkets? What's this over here? What's that over here? What's this sparkly moon these thing in the window? Like, these look like new trinkets you're decorating your apartment with, these ma'am. These look like those dollar store things that you, you get trinkets. for birthday parties. Yes, they're trinkets. And look at that. Well, that little moon thing sparkly back there is pretty. But I see That's trinkets. That's like a symbol for Islam. <laughs> I see trinkets decorating the apartment right now. Sinatra Center for Kids Who Can't Read Good. <laughs> People who know nothing have the most to say. What's uh, the YouTube link pin? That is Are You Serious's channel. She is a reaction channel to Chantel, who is um, very educational on a lot of stuff, but mainly Islam and how Chantel spreads a lot of misinformation about it. Had a nice New York strip last night. I have noticed that I don't know if it's my palate changing or restaurants 
I haven't been to Longhorn in forever because their prices have gone insane. But every steak I make at home is better than any steak I could get eating out. Well, yeah, because then you're even cooking if it's just it like, like a, to the way that you like it. Even if it's just like a sirloin, it's better than like a strip from Longhorn. Right, because when you're cooking it, you get the exact amount of cooked that you like. When they're they when you it, when you ask for like medium rare or something, they're just cooking it however they think that should be, and then that's not the way you. They want cook it. it well. It's not. It's not like it's bad when they cook it, but I just like mine better. Mm-hmm. Texas Roadhouse is my go-to place. They might be. Switching places with uh, Longhorn, honestly, because Longhorn prices are in fuck sane anymore. Crystal, the water's bad there in Mexico. But I have a taste for fucking. I I want either a burger or a Philly cheese. I have such a steak taste for it. Go backwards, babe. You want meat? Yes. Hmm. Yeah. I never knew anything about Ramadan until this channel, but it's interesting to learn. Yeah, well, that's what okay. What if you never I mean, lived life best, outside I'm, of a bubble I mean, that this is your first introduction to anything Ramadan? Right, and then this is like, oh, well, now I know all about Ramadan because Chantel told me literally nothing about it whatsoever. That, that is insane to me. How are you 20, 30 years on this earth and don't know what Ramadan is? Even in high school, I knew it because my high school had a bunch of Muslim people who were practicing. So I'm like, oh... Uh, Osama and Muhammad and Amir are not coming to lunch because it's Ramadan. Right. We have 500 watching and 141 likes. Guys, smash that like button, share it out. We are over 10% to the new goal. Very nicely done. I'm like, I'm new to this too. Like, you know, like, I know it's like my second year, but still, <laughs> like, compared to somebody who was born and raised and, and taught Islam in a school, like, I was raised Catholic, you know? So I took, like, Catechism, I took Catholicism, like, I was raised Catholic, too, and I still know more about Islam than you do. You know, I could tell you a lot about It seems like it. It's interesting. This Facebook grandma says she's learning so much about it from Chantel. Bad. <laughs> not, actually, probably not that much. <laughs> I always found class. Like, when I was a kid, I found Like, what has Chantel taught us about much. Ramadan? Has she taught us what it's for, what it's, what it's why? She's taught us, I can't eat until it gets dark. I can only swish water in my mouth. Like, literally, that's all she's told us about what Ramadan is. What it's for, what they're praying about, what they're, what any, she's told us nothing about what Ramadan is other than I can't eat until dark. Yeah. That's it. That's what we've learned. Why? The spirit of Ramadan isn't talking about others. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. Oh, wait, wait. One more time. The other people are not, people talking about you are not participating in Ramadan, Chantel. You are. And you're the one talking about others. The spirit of Ramadan isn't talking about others. Exactly. Exactly. There you go. The spirit of Ramadan is not talking about others. That's all she's doing. No one else has to be in the spirit of Ramadan right now, except for Chantel. And are you serious? But yeah. Yeah. Anyways. Oh, and Courtney, about Mr. Cardigan, I don't care. Like, he's a liar. He's just a glorified hater. And he's going to relive something about the past. Go for it. Another one who has no content unless he's beating on the same fat women on the internet, beating down the same women or trying to, like make documentaries on us like <laughs> he doesn't only he talk about fat women on the internet she's she's so deluded she, she thinks people only talk about her and amber that's it like she looked at his channel she saw a video about her she saw a video about amber she didn't look at nothing else Mr. Like, oh, snowflake, he just talks about fat women snowflake has done so many documentaries on so many different people mm -hmm. I think she just refuses to see reality. Yeah, she just won't acknowledge we'll need to get up everything's about her. And stop being self-righteous. Like, it's just insane. Hey, Vegas doll. Really? <laughs> stop being self-righteous coming from the woman who has literally never said I was wrong. Right. <laughs> Another cloud chaser. Exactly, teardrop. Exactly. Snowflake is a cloud chaser. Drama, like. Yeah. If she's getting clout from Chantel. Snowflake needs Chantel to get clout right. <laughs> Super hungry for drama. <laughs> That's all people want is to see others miserable and for drama. Like, what does that say about you? You know, whatever backwards, babe, I'm allowed. I'm not saying anything mean about anybody, so I'm going to block you. Goodbye. Oh, and a fallen beezer. Yeah. Like another virtue signaler. I'm allowed to defend myself. And a just... virtue signaler. Uh -huh. I don't think she knows what that means. No, she has no idea what that means. Bomb and talk about certain things if I want to. Did I insult any of these people? Yeah, they're ignorant and they look dumb when they say things that are not true. Did I insult you? Yes, you're ignorant and dumb. 
Hey, stupid, did I hey, insult stupid, you? stupid, I ig- didn't insult you, you fucking idiot. You ignorant retard, did I insult you? <laughs> it's very similar, Buckle Bunny. Ew, Grandma, I don't see it. <laughs> you rang. I could not, could do the not eating, but the not drinking. It is hard, yeah. Her face shape is ever-changing. Mm-hmm. It, it is just amorphous. Well, because most of it is hidden behind, it's, it all depends on how the... The chin spanks are fitting today. Like you know, this, today, it's more sucked up around, like all the way, almost covering her whole eyebrow. So it looks like a whole different face. You know what it looks like? Hold on. The angry bean. This is what it looks like today. Oh, poor life choices simulator gifted five memberships to Witchy Nonsense, Galaxy Shine, Wilder Fan, Emily Figueroa, and Nikki Nikki. Thank you very much, poor life choices. We appreciate that. Oh, wait, I don't want this. What are you drawing, honey? Face shape today. Oh. Like that, that's what it looks like. Yes. Yes, it does. But like, her eyes. Where are her eyes? Her eyes are up here. Oh. Yes. Okay. <laughs> it looks kind of like a bean. <laughs> it does look a little bit like a bean. Oh, wait, here, let me move that over, actually. <laughs> Mad Hag, some bike said, I love bees. It does look like a bee. <laughs> That's what her face shape like. Her eyes are up here. And her mouth is... Because the hijab is completely eaten the forehead. It's gone. The mouth is, like, down here. Mm-hmm. Or no, that's probably her nose, actually. So her mouth is probably, like, right here. Mm-hmm. That's, that's what it looks like. The, I gotta give her the drunk lie. <laughs> Look at it. It's uncanny. Look. They're twinning. She's got a lot of extra chin at the bottom today. Look at that. They're twinning. Adorable. In all honesty, we have all done things in our past. It doesn't define who we are now. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, Ava. Uh, thank you again, yourself. poor life choices. Yeah, I mean, I'm not I doing it in a super hateful way, lowering myself to their level anymore, you know? No, Grandma. Don't get excited. That is true. Not very nice to bring up people's past and shame them for it. Exactly. <laughs> Stop showing your video and just play paint. <laughs> So somebody's uh, oh grandma grandma actual her name is grandma in the chat is it really yeah grandma she said, she said he is handsome though and then somebody with a fake name that says mr cardigan came on and grandma said is that really mr snowflake huh. and Chantel said no grandma don't get excited <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking great so Why do they react to people who are suffering from issues that's disgusting? Because they're ableist and they think that they're funny. Like, they do it for money. Like- Who's making fun of you for having an eating disorder? It's not like you're on welfare. <laughs> <laughs> are we going to make fun of her when her foot falls off, though? Maybe. <coughs> yeah, probably a little Maybe. bit. Actually, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, help us support Sin's art- artistic st- uh, autistic would have worked too. Stop! You violated the law. It's been too long since I've seen a good draw. I'm just warming up. You pathetic worm! Yeah. Remember! Remember the Emperor! Uh, hey, Sin and Shelly, a little late to the stream, but showing love before work. Thank you, Nerdy. I appreciate Thank it. That you, was on nerdy. the chopping block, too. That's a good one. I like that little I think I'm going to keep that around. That song. It's a little, it's a little jazzy song. <laughs> and the third day of Ramadan, my true love gave to me. 30 minutes of rage. Aww. Nice. That's cute. Um, yeah, that one was on the list, but I guess it can stick around a little bit. Like, imagine doing something so immoral just to fatten your pockets. Like, do you know how much... Yes, I'm here to fatten my pockets. I'm here to watch a show. I make money watching the show. It's because we're entertaining and people like the show. I, th- I love that she's, like, doing something so immoral. Like, what... what? What are, what are we doing? It's like, there are a lot of things that are really immoral that a person could do to make money. I don't think watching things on the internet is really high on that list. And it's not like... It, that. It, and that's, of course, what it comes down to for her. Because this is like the seventh time she's brought up money so far. Right. But it's not like we're just sitting here playing your stream and we're getting donations. People donate to reactors, they super chat, they stream labs, which is the preferred method. Um, well, a bunch of things down below that might get cut out. Uh, damn it, I lost my own train of thought. 
They 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 support reactors because they like the reactors personality. Like uh, Life Simulator just gifted a bunch of fucking memberships because they like the content. Mm -hmm. They're not donating to us because you're on screen. They're donating to reactors because they like the reactors. Mm -hmm. Karma, you're going to get return to you like. And right, Ellen, Foodie had the OnlyFans video of her in the bathtub with peeps for money. Mm. Let's talk about things doing immoral things for money, right? Yeah. It's fine for Chantel to do things like that for money, but watching reality shows and talking to your friends on the internet, that's immoral. And we have, and, and a lot of people just hang out in the chat. I don't even know if they watch a stream with audio on half the time. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're hanging out with our friends. We're exactly. just a giant chat community. Yeah, that's exactly what's happening. It's amazing. People think they see people like living the pick up your microphone real quick pick it up off the deck good life right now and they think that oh they're just getting you know richer they're just okay. getting more prosperous you make and it's noise. like i know but i'm trying to see if it's just because your mic is on the desk still or because mine's hooked on the side of it i, I need to be able to smash my desk no yeah, that's all gonna come you're all you're, that's all going to tumble down on you because of the way you earn your money because of the way you live your life a hundred percent you know Eat your chicken, how you learn. Imagine if we judged everyone by their past. We'd all hate each other. Exactly. Exactly. Um, hi, Vanna. But that's a blatant lie. I wasn't praying in the wrong direction. That's mostly what I wanted to prove. I do have an app. How do you guys even know? I have, before accusing me, if I don't have an app or not, how, like, you don't know. Because we see where the sun is. We see where the, the, uh, lake, uh, bathtub behind you is. Someone, I remember, it was a while ago, I read somebody in the chat said that on that app, you have to, like, put in your location. Maybe she didn't do that. She probably didn't. She probably just opened the app and it's just at random because she didn't actually put her location in. That's possible. You don't know anything. You don't know ish. You don't know anything at all, especially about the religion. You Google things to find out. Like, get a life. <laughs> Please. The C, so, thank you. Google. Chantel knows more than Google. That's of course. she's saying. How dare you ask Google for facts when I could just tell you facts? Thank you. Yeah, it's, thanks, Courtney. My CPAP? Yeah, no, I just have rosacea. No, honey, CPAP. that's your CPAP lines. We can see it. I don't think so, because it's it's bedtime, not waking up time. I don't think that's your CPAP marks. I think her blood pressure I, is know, so I, damn high. I, I, think, I think that's where her CPAP sits on her face, but it's probably filthy, and she doesn't wash it, so she's just got, like, broke-out skin in that spot. Maybe. But it's, like, it's semi-dry and rosacea. No makeup. <sighs> yeah, see, she's ready for Betty Bye. Yeah, exactly, teardrop. Like, you know, it's so ridiculous. And these are like adults. These are adults. Like, adults. These are adults. These are adults. They're adults, complains the 40 year old woman complaining about adults. Uh huh. Why don't you act your age? Grow up. Like, what do you do? Chantel, you are just as comfortable as we are down here in the filth. Yep. Doing with your time, with your life, it's so sad. What are you doing with exactly. your time and with your life, you. Chantel? Your life seems very sad. You seem very miserable. You don't leave very the house. Very angry. You don't leave the house. Your husband doesn't give you attention. Your family is, doesn't give a shit about you. You have no friends. You have nobody to talk to but Facebook grandmas. You know why she's so upset? I know exactly why. Because you haven't been trekked yet. Maybe that's why. I, I did get a fart though. Can we get an all hail blue whale out there? <laughs> Was bully other people, yeah, for entertainment. They think, oh, it's just fun, it's entertainment. Um, no, someone's religion is not entertainment. Um, no, it's not about weight. your religion, Chantel, and you don't have to watch what other people are watching on the internet. You are making a reality show for the public to consume. You don't have to watch what people think about it if you don't want to. I imagine, well, like, like Kim Kardashian doesn't go and read every tabloid about her and see people don't like her fake butt. I'm sure she doesn't look at that. Probably not. Body shape is not entertainment. Like, get a life. Like, are you perfect? Is your body shape perfect? Are you. It's a yes. Cash no. Yeah. It's a It's a It's a It's a I could sit here and watch you and Mrs. Sin react to paint dying. It's not the content y'all watch, it's the how you interact with each other. Well, thank you, Mr. Caveman. I appreciate Aww, that. Oh, that's nice. It's only a matter of time before we start talking about movies and TV shows. Yeah. I was watching a video yesterday. Oh boy, here we go. I was watching a video yesterday on Anton Chigurh from uh, No Country for Old Men. Oh yeah, the no, a, no no ending for 
Boring movies. <laughs> That's what you're watching. It was a uh, it was a breakdown of Anton psychologically and as a character, and I love that kind of shit. I think it's so interesting. And Miss Income's like, "Are you watching something about no ending for bad movies or some shit like that?" <laughs> I wanted to put her through the wall, calling No Country for Old Men a bad movie. It had no ending. It did have an ending. It didn't have an ending. It did. I watched that whole movie, waiting for the ending, and then they showed nothing, and the people were just dead or whatever, and that was it. Like. Who killed them? How they die? What happened? Where was we watched all the fight scenes or whatever throughout the whole fucking movie, and then the end it was just like, mm, well, just guess, just guess what happened. <laughs> movie so, over. I'm like, really? I hate it. I need an ending on a movie. There is an there's ending. There's not an ending. It's a whatever you think the ending is. That's the ending. That's not an ending. I love, I love No Country for Old Men. <laughs> Weight or the body shape is not entertainment. Like at a life, like, are you perfect? Is your body shape perfect? No, it wasn't analyzing evil. It was something else. See if I can find it. Hold on. Are you, you know, like, I don't know. It's just, hi, Kelly. You get eczema on your face? And like today, I watched a uh, a two-hour video on the book Jon Snow versus the show Jon Snow. Oh, that sounds exciting. Liz Lucas said, was that the, the vile eye analyzing evil covering it? No, but I just watched their video on uh, Michael Corleone. That was good. Oh no! It was a. Uh, it was called negotiations with death. Negotiations with death. What makes Anton Sugar so terrifying? This is a channel with like twenty five thousand subs. Soder. Soder, but it's got like two point five million views. Well, good for him. It, this it was a really interesting video. It is kind of dark, yeah. <laughs> the curtains block out a lot of the sun. Does the suit have cause or rosacea? Yeah, the Jon Snow one was all Shift X. I don't know. Maybe. I've had it for so long. I need another sleep study. <sighs> Hi, Shannon. I'm like, no, you know, I do not like reaction channels. No helpful. But yes, to what she said, yes, my body is perfect. Yes, mine too. I'm looking at them. That's why I do not. Yeah, yeah. These people, like, how are you going to judge how I look? Praying. That's so disgusting to make fun of somebody, like, in such a position when you don't even have a camera. That's what I thought. That's my theory on it, too. Anton was supposed to be symbolic of death and change, not meant to be an actual person, just symbolism. No, he was a person. Right, there was a person yourself. in the movie. Are you serious? Like, my, my mind is like blown. I can't. I don't know how YouTube platforms these people, but I continue every day to. I, I didn't realize how much I had forgotten about the books until I watched that video. I think I'm gonna have to reread the Game of Thrones books. Report them. Hopefully, inshallah, they will do something about it. And I'm honestly like so close to just getting on a plane and going to sue the crap out of you know who. Like, I'm serious. I'm done. I see all. She won't even say her name. She's Voldemort. All these law, you call them lawsuits, but no, there's a lot of online harassment and defamation and making fun of people. Technically, we're just here to be entertained. We don't care too much what Sin and Sass are reacting to as long as it's funny and the chat is on point. This chat is always on chat point. Chat is awesome. We you have, guys have some great one-liners out there. We have the sexiest chat. That's true. And the funniest chat. That's absolutely true. We're the best. The best. If Hussie could win a case against DC when she did way less than you know who, um, fake, fake, fake potato, does every single day for years, <laughs> what do you think I would be awarded? Like seriously, I'm I'm like fed up. I want to shut her up for good. I'm not kidding. So you, you would have to to be awarded monetary compensation in this kind of situation, you would have to prove that FFG somehow caused you to lose money, which she did not. Yeah. Nothing that she has done, her reacting to your videos, her doing none of that is taking money from Chantel. So there's no payout for her. Yeah. You don't get money just because you got annoyed by somebody. You have to prove that they lost you income. I feel or you like, lost your job because of something that they did or said. I feel like arguably you could say that FFG is helping keeping Chantel's channel alive. Absolutely. I feel like you could argue that. Yeah. Attorney here, you're right. It's the best chat. I looked at it and I said there's a lot of chats out there, a lot of reaction channel chats. It's there's, there's a lot. But this chat, I gotta say it's the best. I'm not saying the others are bad. I'm just saying, this is the best. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, I don't know, but I'm seriously like this close to doing it. I'm this close to getting off of here and booking a flight. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. <laughs> do it, do it. Yesterday I came home with a limit. Get that, that, that free little lawyer that's, like, that's gonna help you with this. A No Country for Old Men was originally a book written by Cormac McCarthy, who is also known for such works as Blood Meridian. I didn't know he wrote Blood Meridian, too. I have that book on Audible. 
I saw Windigoon's video on Blood Meridian. That looks like a good damn book. Uh, he's known for depicting obscure themes such as death, change, and religious pious through characters. Anton was one of those. Uh, Judge was another one, too, I believe. I think they kind of filled the same role. But uh, thank you, Liz, and a little bit of information there. Nice. I'll have all the food beliefs. And that's uh, two on the... Uh, we haven't had a gorilla train in a while. We have not seen any gorilla butts today at all. Mm. Sad like you day. do, Kelly. And that's the thing. These people are obese themselves. Okay, and they don't I show themselves. Not. So of course they can say, "Oh, I had pineapple only for dinner." Of course, people are going to believe that, right? Because they don't show themselves. You know. I, I, I just... am not. I I eat Taco Bell all the time, but I am not obese. No, Chantel. you're annoyingly thin for the way I, you eat. I love Taco Bell. I would eat it every day, and I probably still would not be as big as you, Chantel. That, I don't care, people. Whatever. Call me fat. Whatever. I don't care. That says more about you than it does about me. It always will. That's whatever. You know. <laughs> Teardrop. Yeah, I know. But I did get a cool Tucker Donut. The That's coolest true. Tucker Donut. The best donut. Tucker Donut. That was fantastic. The best. It is the best. That is. Well, the, the drunkle gets no bitches is my favorite part. <laughs> it's okay. I have the money to do it. I can do it. Um, hi, Yusuf. Hello, bees. Ooh, Cat Mom, you might be onto something there. I think the ticket back to Canada's book, she keeps slipping. That's saying she will go back. I think she has her Ooh. visa run sorted. Yep, you know, I, I thought that too because, uh, what was that, like a week or two ago and she was like, I'm going back to Canada and then immediately she was like, no, I'm not, and like, she's just not going yet. Yeah. She is going, but it's not time to go yet and she brought it up too soon. Yep. Yeah. How and it's not going it? to make a lol suit. It's mm. going to be to visa hop and come right back. She's going to get high for a couple of days she's and gonna come right high. back. She's going to get high. She's going to freak out when Salad immediately stops answering her phone calls. <laughs> Home Alone Legend pops her right, right back, back up. <laughs> Home Alone Legend's coming right back. Yep. And it's, it is foreseen. I mean, I don't want him running around. I don't like him, like, out and not knowing where he is, you know? Um, Wait, what was that, Chantel? Hold on. Hello, lawsuit bees. Howie is good. I mean, I don't want him running around. I don't like him, like, out and not knowing where he is, you know? Um, I thought she yeah, was that's not a good thing. I thought she was talking about salad. You know what? I've had, what, four hamsters now? Yeah. None of them have ever escaped because they're in a proper cage, Chantel. Yeah, that's true. People are always like, buy him a bigger cage. This is literally the biggest Don't cage I've ever do that. Oh, I have the wrong train up. God damn it. I'm pretty sure that you can buy things on Amazon in Kuwait. Can you not? Do they not have <laughs> Amazon in Kuwait? I don't know. I know I'm a little behind, but fish are cold-blooded, which is why you can eat them on Friday. Interesting. Oh, that's, yeah, maybe that's why. Thank you. That's one. The biggest one. Like, look it up online if you want. There's, like, if you see them in person, like, online you can see it. Don't. This is the biggest one that we found at the store, so. Okay, but, you know, you, you can look online. You can look online about hamster enclosures. And you know what you can do? You can get a giant tub. You can get a big plastic tub and fashion the lid to make it a breathable lid. And you can put your hamster in a proper-sized enclosure made out of a big fucking plastic tub, Chantel. You don't have to buy whatever they sell at the pet store. Yeah, really for a little right? The spy, yeah. Imagine living your life just to spite somebody. And I'm like, sure they sell fish tanks. <laughs> they have to sell fish tanks in Kuwait, right? Karina, welfare girl. To what kind of life do you have? And you have the nerve to judge someone else who's actually living their own life and making their own content, even if you think it's bad content. I'm not judging you. I'm judging your actions and what you say. Content, that's all you're I already know you're a... I've wanted to say stinky person, but a, a bad... Human. Content is is taking apart my bad content. How boring and mundane are you then? You know, yeah. I mean, poor Slurster. Yeah, it's your job. She needs to be put in her place for sure. She's like criminal. She's disgusting. You know, like. She's a criminal. She's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw a tweet like of her like being like we like attacking Americans. Like we don't we don't think of lawsuits right away. Yeah, well your la eight landlords did when they took you to court for your non-paid rent. And. Uh, weren't you just complaining about somebody poor shaming you and you're sitting here poor shaming FFG because she couldn't pay rent once? Right. <clears throat> the, it's when she says stuff like that, she keeps bringing up the fact that FFG got sued over like back rent or something. It's stuff like that that really makes me think that she has never been poor in her entire life. Yeah. It's like, if you've ever been poor, if you've ever been late on a bill or rent, you don't make fun of somebody about that, because you've been there. Yeah, I've, I've, I've been to court for eviction before. That's absolutely a thing that happens. Yeah, it's, it's just a thing. <laughs> uh, she looks like 
my beardy. Oh, it's a. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they're so cute, but they scare me. Yeah. Rent. Steve and Vagus were sticking with you. Yeah, of course right. they're going to. They try to take. So any we need for a. Oh, there we go. A blackout thumbnail. Shelly to get Shrek. To her to call the cops and her to be captain. And we've got. 45 minutes. I think we can nail it. Support system I have away. And then they have the nerve to say that anyone else is narcissistic. Right. Why yes. Not? This is coming from the woman who has two bankruptcies. That's true. Very true. I, I can't. I'm, I'm sure like the, the country of Canada like would say something like about like you and an your payment of your bills, Chantel. Mm. The woman, like trying to be DC media. And she just thinks she knows everything. She picks apart everything about Amberlynn, like everything. She goes after her weight loss doctor. She's she's insane. Like these people are insane. You're the only narc here, okay? You abuse somebody online and then you deflect. That's exactly, you, you deflect and blame them for your stalking and your harassment. And that's exactly what narcs do. So congratulations. Stalking and harassment of publicly available content. Right. And we're stalking Chantel and Amber by watching what they post publicly to the internet. That it that sounds it's, like stalking to me. It definitely sounds like stalking. I think Chantel could could win her lawsuit for stalking. People watching her publicly available content. The side of pain is still off and on. You don't have to be there. You can appear virtually. There's a difference between being in a situation where you do all you can but still end up short on rent, and then ordering. Four thousand a month in Uber Eats and failing to pay rent. That's very Don't true. Don't forget six hundred dollars a week in edibles. That's true. An attorney files everything. Yeah, I wonder when she left Canada and left Pete's with that whole apartment situation. Did she pay her whatever she had to pay to the clean out? That probably they probably not. charged her for that. They probably she probably did. I'm pay. sure she didn't. She just took off, and it was in Pete's name. So fuck him. Yeah, I'm sure Pete's had to deal with that situation when she just took off. On your behalf, really. Yeah, I heard that too. Where is your stalker, Sin? She's right here. Yeah. Well, all of you guys are stalking us because you're watching us on YouTube. Oh, that's true. Anything you're all you, over if there. You, if you watch somebody on YouTube, clearly you're stalking them. But, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, the lawyer I talked to said I would have to appear for court dates. But if I don't have to, that would be good. Yeah, he's back, though. How he escaped and he's back. Yeah, I don't have Dove. I don't, I'm not doing that. I'm not making an aquarium and everything. I'm never getting another Why? monster. I'm not making Why? an aquarium. Why? You said you can't buy a bigger fish tank. You can buy an aquarium. Why did she say that? They Liz don't. People own lizards there. You can buy a lizard tank. Put them in that. Listen to how angry she sounded. Yeah, I don't have dove. I don't, I'm not doing that. I'm not making an aquarium and everything. I'm never getting another hamster ever again. No. I'm not doing that. Like I said in my video, I don't have the means or the time or the energy. Like I, I have sciatica pain every day. I'm not making them a freaking. I don't toilet. have the means or the time or the energy to take care of a hamster. A hamster. Arguably the least energy consuming animal. Right. They're not hard to take care of. You don't have to take them for walks. You just have to feed them and scoop the poop and pee out of their cage sometimes. It's not that hard, Chantel. I'm never getting another hamster. Lazy. Oh, God, yeah. But that's your family. Clear. I can't leave my family. I'm never getting another one. Yeah, this I got the biggest, best cage I could possibly buy. Oh, there's better cages? Well, I'm not doing that. Yeah, no offense, no. What the fuck? Sorry, Harry. <laughs> like, people can call me a friggin' animal abuser because I don't get in a bigger cage and I don't give a crap anymore. You are an animal abuser, but it's not because of the hamster cage. It's because you tried to kill a cat and let it get to a point where you were trying to convince the vet that it would die. I mean, she's absolutely abusing the hamster right now. Uh, okay. She is. That hamster is being abused. Uh, Black Dynamite, welcome to the plebs. Thank you. I'm like, I, I don't care. <laughs> Ah, uh, hmm. Yeah, I do pray and reflect, Swellen. Don't worry, I do that. Yeah, okay. She wants to talk about your bankruptcy. Like she hasn't, has, she hasn't been sued by five landlords for unpaid rent. <laughs> like eight, like eight times. Yeah. I've never been. Yeah, people struggle, Chantel, and I'm not sticking up for FFG here. This is just a fact. People struggle. Yeah, it happens. It sure does. Taken to court once for anything like that. Like, no, I've always, never. Chantel, you but, have multiple bankruptcies. God knows how many unpaid loans. God knows how many P2P loans you took out when you were getting ready to ditch Canada. Mm-hmm. Unpaid rent or anything. Yeah, they call it lawsuits, yeah. Why would you stay with a guy who allowed her to be sued by landlords eight times? Not all of them are from that. And then she'll say, oh, it's because of my abuser. Okay, well, but then she'll laugh at me for content for paying the bum's rent a couple of times. All right. But she paid, how many times did you do? Like, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> You weren't being abused, Chantel. 
Anyway. Yeah, exactly, Capricorn Fairy. It's between me and God, exactly. No one is perfect. Like, how many Christians want- Oh, that's a good point, Welfare Girl, Karina. Harry escaped long enough to collect things to build a nest. She's lucky Julia didn't find him. That's true. He was Actually, gone for a minute if he built a nest. Probably. Never go to church, you know? Because, like, a true Christian- is Amanda, <laughs> where has her neck gone? That's a good question. That is a good question. And Marduk Griffin, welcome to the plebs. Thank you. Welcome. Again, if you're judging me, then you're not a true Christian. Like, you'd like to accuse me because you wouldn't be judging somebody online. Like, you know, you could never sign an NDA. Who, what channel is out here saying that they are Christian? It's true Christian. I'm a true Christian. I only make fun of Chantal. I mean. Yeah, who's out here doing that? <laughs> yeah, I'm thinking just eight. Don't worry about it. I'm fed up. I had hamsters in a small cage too. Yeah, growing up, I always had hamsters who had like small cages. Like all yeah, people... because people didn't know better then. People do now. They've like done actual studies on hamsters to find out what they need to live properly, and you're not supplying that, Chantel. Who are just like virtue signaling now, and like people are just huge. It's not virtue so signaling to say that your here. pet is so uncomfortable in their cage that they need to escape. I'm not perfect. I'm not friggin'. I'm not getting a terrarium from a ham. No one is saying that you need to be perfect. They're just saying you need to take care of your animals, Chantel. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> if you want to buy me one, ship it and have it assembled because I can't do it. So then Buy it, for Buy me. it, ship it, and have it assembled because I can't be fucking bothered, is what she just said. And she's going to ask Salad to go pick it up and put it in the cage, too. Oh, yeah. What? You do nothing all day, every day. You sit around, you see Lion all around your house, and you eat. That's it then do it i don't like hamster i love my hamster but i'm never getting another i love my hamster but not enough to take care of it right animal like that again the attorney can get the court to approve mm, your de decorating your hamster tank can be peaceful Chantel. you can make it look pretty it could be a decoration in your house you could make it a hobby you you do nothing and it's not like aquariums are expensive no. You can get a 10-gallon aquarium, and everything's 73 cents over there. Now, yeah, so you exactly. should be able to get a 25-gallon aquarium for, like, five bucks. Right. Oh, if it's hardship, you tend. Mm. Okay, I'll check into it, Crystal. No, she wouldn't even oh, use it me. if someone bought it for her. She would say, I can't put it together. Mm -hmm. Sounds well, not going to make it. A yellow M&M plushie. I used to have a plushie that was, like, um, you know, yeah, I do pray West Coast. Um, the hostess chips guy. <laughs> Eight times she was taken to court, Ava. Yeah. For non gay rent. Yep. Remember Mary, I know. So Lot's always like, I miss Mary, we should have kept Mary. I'm like, Do you wanna have hamster babies that we have to deal with now? No. Vegas is bees in your bees in Vegas. Had hamsters and we had them in a regular cage and they had a ball, they went in and ran around in it. <laughs> now she's talking about having hamster babies. Are you well, remember mind? when she had the male and the female and she was gonna have the hamster babies? Yeah. And then Chad nagged at her enough till she took one back to the store. <sighs> Exactly, Ava. Hey, Shelly. I'm feeling okay. <laughs> Get a dream with me in it. But we're supposed to believe she takes the cat to get groomed every That's... two weeks. Yeah, bullshit. Uh huh. It's sad though. Like, why do things to? Why attack someone's religion to get a rise out of somebody? Like, what kind of crap human being are you? Who is attacking Islam? No one. Not a like, single person is attacking Islam. Why do YouTube platform these people? Like, I don't get it. Like, I always see people who oh, so be Chantel's a crappy He's, person, yeah. but they're about Like, why? What do I do? I literally live my life. How am I a crappy person? You just person? said that you <laughs> like to <laughs> abuse your hamster and you don't care. You don't care if your hamster's suffering because you don't care. Because you're lazy. Indeed. Your poor cat probably hasn't had a litter box change in six months. Oh, I forgot to update this. There we go. Two on the Yahoo. We are almost 20% to the new goal. Nicely done, guys. Nothing. I live my life. I, like... Oh, there we go. Is this the actual Are You Serious before I dole out a wrench? Hold on. It's got the cute little bird picture. Okay. I think it is. That is. Hello, Are You Serious? There we go. That is moderator, standard, bang. You know, Hello. put food, clean, go once in a while to the beach, feed my cats, <sighs> pray, do little boring videos. Yeah, that's fine. You can do all that. All we're saying is take care of your damn animals. Uh-huh. Oh, look at this. I got that fucking... Putty all over my keyboard. Oh, jeez. If we're going to judge somebody over stupid things that they did in the past, well, then I guess everyone's a bad person. Everybody on the planet. Well, we're Everyone. judging you about what you did right now. About what you're doing to your pets. That's what we're judging you about right now. So let's not talk about the past, Shanta. 
Thank you, Vegas doll. By the way, my pocket's on the way. It's been shipped. Everyday Mirror. Oh, she yeah, got I'm her back. Oh, do they ship to go? There you go. We're having it sent somewhere. We arranged for it. To she, be sent. she got it for a name of a channel that's not not even what her name. The, not the channel she built. No, nope. somewhere. So, inshallah, it will arrive. Fine. If it arrives damaged, we can request a replacement. And then I'd probably just request it to be sent to my mom's for future when I visit. <laughs> but yeah. I I wonder if she sent the plaque to her mom's, and that's going to be part of the reason she goes to Canada. If it arrives damaged. I can get another one sent. So she's already planned this out. She's going to say, oh, my plaque was broken in the mail. I have to go to Canada. Is this the going to be the reason for going to Canada? I, we've heard like four excuses so far to go to Canada, but she's, we all know what it's for. She just wants to do, yeah. do the weed. Yeah, she wants to do the weed. She wants to inject marijuana. <laughs> if you were perfect, you would not be human. Exactly, exactly. Did anybody say Chantel has to be perfect? They do ship to Kuwait. We'll see if it arrives. Uh, I didn't have mail delivery in Egypt either. That threw me when she said we have to go pick up the mail because I figure, like, the postal system works. Maybe they don't deliver to houses there. I, they, I don't think they do. <laughs> One whole marijuana. <laughs> She deserves to defend herself and stand up for what's right. And Cassidy, I don't do it often. I usually let things slide for a while. You don't defend like, yourself. I don't defend myself often. <sighs> okay. Literally, that's all that she does. All she's been doing is saying that people attack her because she's Muslim and not a bad person for the half hour yeah, out of the hour. I, and I, I, I just life. love how she, she twists it to any criticism of her as a person is automatically just mocking Islam. Like, she is Islam. And anything you have bad to say about me, you're saying about an entire group of people. Well, that's where it's not. It's not how things work. That's where Are You Serious popped up earlier. Why her thing is still pinned to the top was Chantel was saying that if she's thirsty, she could just put water in her mouth and spit it out. But you can't do that. It's not how that works. Well, Chantel makes up the rules for herself and she is all Islam. Apparently. So that's like, how that works. Well, people, come, people are going too far. Like they go too far to try to you know, have content, like imagine. I didn't, my bed is right there. I go as far as my studio, which is over there. <laughs> I don't go far at all for any of this shit, man. <laughs> you can make all of my boring content all day, but I'm not hurting anyone at the end of the day. I'm not coming for people. Except your animals and the people who you give very, very bad advice to and for some ungodly reason take you seriously. Yeah. People, I'm not harassing people. I'm not bullying people. You, you know, are. like you just you just said a minute ago, I'm I'm not insulting you, you fucking idiot, or whatever you said. <laughs> you, you, you are actually being mean to people right now. <laughs> you are actively currently <laughs> shaming somebody. I didn't even click it off the bingo. <laughs> We're getting close. There was a thumbnail there. I just didn't grab it. We need a Shrek, the cops, and Shelly as captain. You know what I mean? Demon cat voice stops talking to you. We can click that one off. We cheating at bingo. That Abaya is definitely hungry. Uh, she's <clears throat> playing. I, I assume Julia played with her food. Uh, salad is always cringe. She definitely licked her fingers while she was eating. I'm just wondering how much I can get away with. Wait, that. you're cheating. That didn't happen. Yeah, it did. She was, was not eating. Over. She is Ramadaning <laughs> today. <laughs> she's not eating while the camera is on. Of course. Anyway. Somebody put it in the chat earlier. Or maybe it was Sunday, I don't know. Uh, you can't eat or drink during the day, and you're supposed to avoid all conflict. Well, she sure is seeking out the conflict right now. She's definitely in search of conflict. Come on, buddy, worship her. When's your birthday, Vegas? Hi. But are you serious is correct. Forks are illegal. That's true. The Fork Enforcement Division is on the She's case. Islam, her way. How people treat you as their karma, how you react is yours. Thank you for linking my channel. I was telling people that if... Yeah, he's been hooked on your videos. I am so hooked. I've been working on my project and got my little Bluetooth speaker. I can't wait to show you guys pictures when it's done. Miss Sin just has to do her job with that, too. Oh, well, you got to got to buy the I got to buy a lot of the things and do a lot of the work. It'll get done. That sealant's expensive. Oh, my God. How much? It's going to be a lot. How much is the sealant? Well, all the parts that I need. It's probably like $200. Oh, okay. It was expensive. I don't have it right now. <laughs> so I'm, it's in my Amazon cart just waiting until I can buy it piece by piece. Uh, when, when it's done, I can't wait to show you guys pictures. It's going to be pretty. I'm outside like sanding and 
wood filling and doing all this shit. And I just have, are you serious on my Bluetooth speaker? It's so interesting. <laughs> it's, it's so educational. And Chantel spreads a fucking lot of misinformation, especially, well, bog standard. But especially when it comes to Islam and are you serious? Like, mm, actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Sin never does a job. You need a new co-host. Are you, are you looking to be the new Mrs. Sin, Ben? You're not a bad person for not getting a big cage. Yeah, you have I know other stuff you have to do, like, too. I, yeah, that's true, like, man. You can have my job. A house for a mouse, but ideally I can't, so... I'm doing my best. I try to make him as happy as possible. You know, I give him a lot of treats <laughs> and fresh food, and uh, I just don't want him running around in little crevices. I'm, I'm worried for he him. He needs a wheel that he isn't breaking his back in. Your poor hamster needs to run in that wheel for like five miles a day, Chantel. And his little body is bent completely crooked. Imagine running with your back bent backwards. That's what you're doing to him. Uh, she does know what that's like. Well, that's true, but she doesn't run. But did you, she's like, I love my hamster. I give him treats. Mm -hmm. And that was her proof that she didn't abuse the cats, too. I gave them treats. Uh, you need to check out the video. Are you serious about Salah getting a citizenship in the U.S.? A good one made a point of an... <laughs> okay. Uh, if someone could send me a link on the Twits, I'll watch it uh, after the AAA later. You know, so... His cage is like... And Harry looking like a whole croissant. Like, not tiny. The cage that came with right. came in. Oh my gosh, that was small. Um, and you're right, the pet store had no problem. They don't really care. Yeah, about the ca the little box they give you to take the hamster home from the pet store is not what they're supposed to live in. Okay. And when she got the hamster, she told us that she had been doing research and she'd been watching YouTube videos about hamster care, but she's not doing any of the things, not even the bare minimum of the things that she should be doing. And she should not just be giving them treats every day. I made a fake green card to entice him. Oh my god. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> you know. How are we gonna birthday bees? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. I'm not sure, honestly. Oh fuck. Oh. It's like a parent saying they don't abuse their kids because they live in the house. That's the bare minimum. Sinatra child number three. The older uh girl was going off on one the other day. She's like, You you guys take my phone away too early. Yeah, like, all oh. the other kids in my class are allowed to be on their phones all night. I'm like, well, so the other seventh graders are allowed to be on their phone at 3 a.m. That's that's just the thing that all the other parents do. She's like, you can't do this. I was like, all I have to do is feed you and keep you alive. That's the bare minimum. <laughs> it's verbatim what I said to her. She's like, ah. Yeah, she's 12 year old girl energy. I don't really care about my birthday anymore because I don't, I don't want to be 40. <laughs> Were the eight lawsuits for unpaid rent or for something else? No, for unpaid rent. She thinks proper care is food and kisses, no health care, no sanitation, yeah. no psychological... Yeah. 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 But the landlords were owed. I think she won, like, one case for, like, um, something wrong with the furnace. So why would you live <laughs> She watched all the videos on Michael Vick's School of Hamster Care. <laughs> <laughs> no, Eve. Uh, what do you want now? You're coming in here oh looking needy. What do you want, Eve? What? You already Ooh. tricked me. You already tricked Ooh. me into downstairs. What? What do you want now? Do you want to actually go outside this Use time? Use your words. You just, you just want pets? She just wants attention. Okay. For eight months rent-free, you know, like, I don't know. Just so you can, like, scat, like, just, you can grip. You know what? Ash me, that might be it. Harry doesn't bring in the views she thought he would. She thought, I'm going to get a cute pet. Everyone's going to ooh and ah. I'm going to get more views. And then nobody gave a shit about the hamster. So the hamster got banished to the other room and she didn't give a shit either. Oh, this is why you got all excited. Oh, because the cat's in here. She has to get they're attention all, they're first. They're all out there, the, the lawsuit papers, throw ho. <clears throat> She's half Egyptian. Wasn't she Greek and Jewish? Like, what is she? <laughs> okay. <gasps> She's a FFG? D okay. Jewish is an ethnicity, not a country. She realizes that, right? No, she, ha she doesn't know anything <laughs> about anything at all. <laughs> she literally knows nothing about anything. You can be... Right, I, just like Eve. She knows what Eve knows. <laughs> she knows food. S N A C K. Snack. She knows treats. She knows eat. She knows poop. That's all she knows. A liar, that's for sure. I think Eve's a little bit smarter because she knows how to get what she wants. That's true. 
Eve actually gets what pets. Party? Chantel does not get <laughs> any pets. She gets cheek pinches. Eve don't want those. Yes. Let, me, let me try to give her a cheek pinch. I can't even. She's, she'll take it. <laughs> She's she, like, I, she'll yeah. take it. Okay, it's dead attention. Me. For sure. Fatal attraction. No. Don't even think about jumping up there. Come on, Gray. I'll give you a pet. Yeah, we're all obsessed. Come on. They do it to get a reaction so they can get content. Exactly. That in alone is speaks volumes about who they are. Like, <laughs> you heard me he say, "What do you mean? Jewland is definitely a thing." <laughs> <laughs> I, so not your child sees should claim Islamophobia. <laughs> thank you for the super chat. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. I made boring videos no. about myself. I don't know. All I want to see. Is okay, he said I, I confiscate my myself. students' phones all the time, and they say I'm violating their human rights. <laughs> Will you give me a meal? Come on. You just head bump in the microphone. Oh, a little gray. That was a squeaky as mouth. Oh, she trying to get up Leanda on the desk. said, how does she not notice her face is getting more lopsided every day? <laughs> she doesn't. And she, people have said to her before that her cheek looks very big. And she's like, where? I don't see it. How do you not see it? The, the violating their human rights is fucking hilarious. Yeah, exactly, Ava. Okay, good night, Gracie. Come on, Gray. I'll snuggle you. Don't have to go on the desk. Eve's freaking the fuck out. Gra Eve, I'm allowed to pet the cat. <laughs> I am allowed to pet the cat. <laughs> I am allowed to pet the cat. <laughs> Cats get pets, too. <laughs> She's flopping around. She's, like, swinging back and forth. <laughs> Those pets are mine. Okay, I have two hands. I got you back. <laughs> Crazy how they think they're in any position to speak on others, especially from behind a camera. Uh, someone asked what kind of dog he was. She is a Malamute. Like especially talking about how someone else looks physically. She, she, she was only supposed to be 75 pounds. I was lied to. You were supposed to be the runt of the litter, you moose. She's the big girl. When you don't even show your own self. They need you to be mad. That's so ridiculous. Like, I'm just speaking out against how disgusting and like hypocritical they are. Like, I don't know. I guess they're okay with that. So if they're okay. Now she's a whole 140 pounds of needing attention. A lot now. <laughs> With that, whatever. Live your life. But it's... Like... Anyway, I'm not going to talk about it, but I know I've said many times, like, I'm going to do We've something about it, but it takes it. time. And I'm definitely going to work on shutting her up. For sure. If YouTube does nothing, like, I report them. Mama came and said, like does nothing about my it. dog me. knocks my knees out from under me when I'm petting the cats. That reminded me. <laughs> my mom's... My mom had two dogs, American Bulldogs, and there was a lady that lived like catty corner to her with dogs. And like during the day, she would bring her dog over to play with my mom's dogs. Like while my mom was not home or whatever, she would just let herself in the backyard and let the dogs run and play. And my mom's dog was chasing around the other dog and knocked the lady's knees out from under her. And the woman broke her leg Oof. and laid in my mom's backyard for like three hours until she came home with her knee fucking broken from my mom's dog. Oh my god! Yeah, Jesus. I just clicked that memory in my head. <laughs> Money together? No, I don't. <laughs> Seventy-five pounds. You said double it and give it back. Oh, I don't. <laughs> That's insane. How yeah. long ago was this? Like ten years ago. Oh, okay. Is that the house that she's in now? I, I report them every day. Every day. So, well, almost every day, not every single day, but when I remember to, yeah, I do. <laughs> and well, she did snuck into her yard. Well, like well technically, she had permission. She was allowed to come over. Yeah. That, yeah, I couldn't even imagine. Okay. I, I've been trying <laughs> to hold it. I gotta, I gotta go hit the head real quick. <laughs> oh, I'm try. the captain. I am the captain. There's nothing wrong with it. Oh, I'm not going to have a chair, please. And, like, I don't know. Okay, guys. Let's get back on really? track. What's Chantel talking about now? Nonsense. Like being a teacher, but being a bully, she should be fired. Yeah, like imagine, like. Um, oh wait, so now someone should get fired from their job for bullying Chantel? Imagine being a mother, like just beating. Oh, we're back to and making fun of another person's body. You have roles, like grow up. Like, like if my mom ever did that, I'd be mortified. You won't catch my mom who has a life, uh, making fun of another person's body online for content. I hope like, my children make fun of people like you. Thanks, Vegas all. Beautiful gypsy princess. Disgusting. Oh, okay, Vanna. Vanessa, Pardon me, I, I would, but I'll get in trouble. Well, I got caught last I time. You were younger. I thought you were like in your 30s. And then he'll just start taking wrenches away at random because he'll think I what gave him What did Jesse say? Yeah. No, I was gonna, but I, um, I'm gonna get in trouble if I do. Who are these people to say, listen, I want to tell you something, okay? You can also can Google, it? if you drink no. alcohol, no. you're still a Muslim. If you smoke weed, you're still a Muslim. All right? 
if you do a lot of things that are haram, you're still a Muslim. It doesn't make you not a, a non-believer, okay? So, like, yeah, I'm a Muslim. Clean? I don't drink alcohol. I don't smoke weed anymore. And even when I did, that's oh, between me and God, and I repented for that. So you don't have someone... You, you don't can't have the right parent to tell the children right now. You have to make, make fun of family on the internet. You're not Christian, all of you people who watch me. Who am I to say that to you? Who are you to say that to me? Just because at one point I was doing OnlyFans, or just at one point, like two years ago, that makes me not Muslim? Okay. I, nobody said because you did OnlyFans that you're not a Muslim. No, I don't think anybody said that. Whatever you want to think. It's very ignorant. Everybody has a past. It just is what it is. Yep. It, it, that's fine. Nobody's... But we know you as a person. Yes. Low intelligent people who just sit around, beat a dead horse, are hungry for hate. Like, this is a Ramadan message for you. Get a life, go repent, go find a spiritual connection. I thought this was supposed to be no conflict time. With something. Thought, go find God, because if you find something isn't like Isn't she that, supposed to be having these feelings and innermost thoughts, not telling other people to follow her religion? <laughs> are you serious? Just said, uh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see your response to this. In your life, you're not going to want to spend all day hating on people and their religion. But quick Nobody's talk. hating on your religion. You've been on here it's talking here. about Christians not being good enough Christians this whole time. What are you doing? What are you doing right now? How hypocrisy of you. <laughs> talking about my religion during Ramadan, you're hella disrespectful and disgusting. And if that were me doing that to anyone else on this platform, I would be canceled for 800th time. You're doing it right now, currently. And no, you can't be canceled. You, it's not a snack, Eve. Sit down, fatty. You got 4,800 views on your rager. Yep. Nobody's canceling you because we know you. Mm-hmm. That would be like canceling Mike Tyson for punching somebody in the face. Remember when the whole thing came out that uh, Mike Tyson was mean? Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, he, he beats people for a living. He's probably going to be a mean guy. Yeah, like, probably. Nobody's, nobody's shocked by this. No. Okay, so yeah. Hey, Brittany. Oh, really? Which one? Just eight. I'll block them. Beepers. I don't. Oh, I think okay. I, I guess we'll about. just say. Think, okay. um, <laughs> you're talking about like a video that was from when I first became Muslim. Yeah, because like I don't, I don't, I don't blame people for having that reaction. Tyson's a Muslim, is he really? And when I first started. Eliana, I'll pit my tea chihuahuas against your Malamud. Oh, oh, Malamud. No, Eve will win. <laughs> Eve's a big girl. Eve's Eve's big and Actually, strong. she'd probably just play with the chihuahuas. We she thinks that she's small like a cat. Remember she when she would play with Reese? Yeah. They would she, chase each other? She would just play. But she, yeah, she would play with the tiny dog. They would chase each other around. But then she would play tug of war with my sister's German shepherds and pull them both around the living room. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> depends on her mood. Um, getting into Islam. Like, I started wearing a hijab and people went nuts. You're not Muslim. Like, take that off. Chantal. Because you, before you even talked about being Muslim, you said that you wanted to wear the hijab because it hides your head. Yep. You she said sure that did. And as soon as you shaved your head, you're like, I'm just going to wear a hijab. Yep. And she wanted to find a man that was brown. She made that very clear. Oh, yeah. That was her whole goal. People were shocked because of... Remember she was talking about, how, oh, she's going to go down to where the refugees come in and she's going to try to pick up a man. Like, oh, yeah. That, she just, it was to find a man and shit. to hide her hair. And she told us why she was doing it. But now the, questioning her, her reasons for doing it, that's Islamophobic. And these are things she said. This isn't conjecture. We're not just pulling stuff out of our ass. These are things that she has said. Yep. In two years. Like she said that she would have an easier time finding a Middle Eastern man if she wore a hijab. Mm -hmm. Or like, I don't know how, like, yeah, almost two years anyways. It's been a long time. Okay. So, and I, uh, are you serious? Is right. Well, now it's time to walk the walk. Right. You're there now. You put on the outfit. You went over there. You found the man. Now it's time to to be the Muslim woman you're supposed to be, not sit here raging at people on the internet. It's time to do the thing. Yeah. Still wearing it. I'm still wearing the hijab. I'm still praying. I'm still Muslim. When, when the poopster got found out, the first thing she said was, "I want to rip this hijab off. I yeah. don't even believe in God." Yeah. The second, like, like the, the littlest thing. The second thing she lost the man that she was wearing it for, she was done. So. And whether people who are like ignorant think so or not, that doesn't. It's irrelevant. We are so close to a double blackout, it's not even funny. You were the captain, you have not called the cops or been shrekt. You know what I mean, demon cat voice, random singing. I covered that one. 
Uh, stares a chat with rat face. I'm sure we had that. She's rage anti binging. I'm cheating as much as I can here. You are cheating. Doesn't matter. Hi, Suan. <laughs> Welcome, Salam. Oh yeah, the poopster man. You know the mm -hmm. girl. These people who sit here and talk about you and judge you for what you've done in your life must have a messed up life themselves. Oh, I don't know what their problem is. It's fine to judge people for what they've done. I think that's what it, where it's okay to judge people. Yeah, it not is Not okay. based off the color of your skin, not based off your religious intu intonations, your sexual orientation. That's immutable things, sir. You probably shouldn't judge that. Right. But your actions, hey, hey. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> That's between you and God. Exactly. It's no one's business. It's no one's right to tell people, to, what are you, Islam police? Like, who, what gives you the authority and the badge to be able to pick apart, like, oh, she's praying in the wrong direction. And I just proved to you or not. Like, what makes you, like, what gives you the right to pick apart? But we, we see the... See! Part someone's religion during Ramadan. That's a good point, spoken. Alexis. If I chose to be a certain religion, I would read the book several times and join groups, etc. But she can't be bothered. No, she's shown us her Quran that she's had since she got married two years ago almost. And she's all of on like page 12. You can see her little bookmark. She's not even read through it one time. She's picked it up to look longingly out the window and read one passage and then she put it back down. <laughs> Shislam. Chantel's Islam. Her way. <laughs> Courtney Lynn said, I've had to explain Foodie Booty and Reaction Channels to my boyfriend. He knows her as the one who did Coke on YouTube. <laughs> yep, well, that's she, it. That is true. She did do that. She did do that. And it, she didn't get canceled for it. Oh. She's obsessed. If I did anything, I would get canceled. She, her obsession with getting canceled is because she wants to see her name trending on Twitter. It is. Yeah. Ava, loyalty visa. Thank you, Ava. <laughs> exactly, Kathleen. Anyone has the right, exactly. Freedom of religion. <laughs> really, Brittany? I didn't know that. Good for her. I can only eat at sundown, yeah. So like Maghreb, which is like the before last prayer of the night. So um, usually I'll break the fast with like a date and a little bit of milk or just a date and some... I think it was... Uh... So she'll break her fast with just a date. And a little bit of milk. Um, do, do, do you believe that's how she's breaking her fast, or is she I, having an entire fucking meal? I believe that that is how that is the initial break of the fast because I think it was milk tea talked about how a date is traditional as a fast break before. Oh, okay. So they eat yeah, that first and then the food. Yes. And then um, I'll pray. Well, we'll pray, and then we'll have the iftar meal, and then after that we have to pray isha. I think that's a tradition thing. Okay. Thanks, Ava. <laughs> Are you talking about me? Yeah, it's for like. Uh, hey, and rip to the DBZ creator. Got some DBZ figure arts figures. I love the figure arts figures. I've been messing around with the uh, figure photography a little bit, and they are so. Like, I knew they were very articulate. I didn't realize just how much they were. So I'm, I'm having a lot of fun with that. Uh, Minty Misty. I'm one year in and no regrets. Money well spent. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Member for right, 12 Minty months. Misfit. Misfit. You're reading like me. I was reading like you. I, I was Joe Biden in it for a second. <clears throat> Thank you very much, Minty Misfit. I appreciate you being here. Like, yeah, it's kind of like um, almost 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., yeah. Yes. Uh, are you serious and Milk Tea are single-handedly destroying all the lies as they appear? Well, Milk Tea lives there and Are You Serious is very ingrained in the culture. She thinks just nobody knows, and they're just going to take her word for it. Yeah. No, Brittany, you can't have anything. That's what she said earlier. So Wait, are you going to look it up on Google instead of just believe what I, a real Muslim, said to you? Okay, Chantel. Okay. What is the trick to tip on slabs? Um, you can't have spaces in the name. Yeah, no spaces. For some reason, it, you just can't have spaces in the name. Uh, and everything else should be good. I'll just rinse it out and spit it back out if I need to. Okay, this is what, uh, are you serious, this is what I was talking about earlier. Is this acceptable? It's sort of like, yeah, it's kind of like um, almost 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., yeah. You know, Brittany, you can't have anything, but that's why my mouth is so dry. I'll just rinse it out and spit it back out. If I, need. I don't think you can do that. I don't think it's any... I don't think... Ingestion. I don't know. Me too. So... Yeah, you can send me a picture, John. Where's John Galt? The the guy who got me hooked isn't here. My next prayer is at close to noon, a few minutes to noon. 
Let me check my app. <laughs> Usually I just hear the, that's what's good about living here. Like you can just hear the, the announcement, the call to prayer, and then you know to- Right, you can hear it all the time when right. you're on live. Yeah, you can hear the call so to prayer here. thing all the time, right um, out your window, but you don't stop your live yeah, to do it. Like all the prayers of the day. I want to see what times these are. 1140, uh, 1157, no, sorry, 440, 1157, 15, 21, 17, 56, 1954. The day and the times? But what, this app is like, it advertises? I don't think it's similar to Lent. think that hair doesn't look good i don't like long hair on men well nobody asked you well that's just my opinion <laughs> i think all the boys should cut their hair and then they'd all look much more handsome <laughs> are you serious there's <laughs> 10 say for hamster advocacy <laughs> thank you are you serious i love hamsters she is uh there was a, a word for obsessed with hamsters it would i got i gotta show my hamster cage will you pull it up if i send it to you so are you serious can I see our hamster cage yeah, yeah send it over thank you very much again always have to look at it because like i said the call to prayer but it's good to have it but like hold on i want to show you something yeah i haven't seen uh when i went out a couple weekends ago with my hetero life man i haven't seen him in a while and he's like your your hair's you're keeping it short huh and i said yeah he goes it looks really good short <laughs> i'm like damn it <laughs> Him and I were talking. He's like, "This adulting thing sucks. We only get to do this like once every six months." I'm like, I know, it's ridiculous. Yeah, there, I sent it on your Twitter. It's on the twits. I'm gonna pull it up here. Oof, the sun is baking me, Jesus. I think it might be air conditioner time. Open image in a new tab. Bang, bang. That's how hamsters are supposed to live. And look at this mansion. Ha this hamshin. Oh, and there's the hamster right under the little bridge. You can kind of see him. He's black. He's back there. This is a 125-gallon tank that she uh, stole from me. Well, it was leaking water. It was no good for fish anymore. No, it was not leaking water. The hose fell out of it. One of the cats knocked the air hose down. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Well, no, it's mine now. I gave it to you for something. It was it Mother's Day, It was Day, Mother's maybe? Day. You yeah. cannot have it back. It's sealant's probably all dried up. The hamster chews on it sometimes. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> You'd have to reseal it. <laughs> I don't. I don't think I want to do another big fish tank again. No, no more fish tanks. Not after the last one exploded in the dining room. Yeah, we're not doing that again. That was. We, we're going to keep them small and in certain areas. <laughs> it's a beautiful palace. It is. It this is. Thing, it's six foot by two foot by two foot. It's a big house. Dude, living like a damn ham king. Well, from. And, and that dance. hamster hates my guts. Yeah. She won't let me pet her or nothing. <laughs> well, oh, you shit. get them and they're hand trained and they're friendly. Then you put them in. Yeah. You, as soon as you put them in a big house like that, they're like back to their natural, natural ways. <laughs> they're like foraging and digging tunnels and shit. And they're like, leave me alone, people. I learned something very interesting a while ago. I don't know. Oh, going back to their natural instincts. If you let uh, pigs out of their enclosures, yeah. like in a farm, if you just let them out. Within, I think, two years, they will turn, they will start to grow tusks and oh, start to get really? furry like the wild boars. Wow. So whatever that is in there changes and they literally revert to primal instincts. Because when I had the first hamster, it was in a tiny cage from the pet store for a while until I watched some YouTube videos and realized hamsters don't belong in tiny cages. But when he was in the tiny cage, I could take him out, I could hold him, I could love on him. And then I moved him into that big cage. And within like a few months, he didn't let me pet him anymore. It was done. Yeah, pigs revert back to boars. It is pretty cool. The Stockholm Syndrome fades when they have good conditions. Yeah. yeah they, they go back to monk. Yeah. yeah. Return to monk. I don't want to show it because it has the tracking information and address. But But then again, that pig thing it, turning into boars is one of the reasons why they have such an issue with the wild boars that they do have. Because they destroy pig pens and then just release a bunch of pigs. Yeah. If they don't kill him, <laughs> and then you just have that many more wild pigs. Yeah. <laughs> that is wild it, boars are freaking evil. When we lived in Florida, they would come right up and get in the trash and shit, and they're not scared of you at all. No, they don't give a fuck. No. They're scary. They are evil. They're scary. And it that blows my mind that in the modernized America we live in, we still have these 
vicious creatures. Civilizations of boars that just <laughs> roam. My parcel is being sent out. I can't wait. It's like that video I played on the AAA. Those guys in the Jeep, they had like a Gatling gun and shit. Oh, yeah. Susan said, I think the same process is happening to Amber then. <laughs> <laughs> we're we're going to cover that tomorrow. That's a whole ass mess. Thank you, Mae. Skip. How are you? Hey, yeah. so said Shelly needs a pot You're belly pig. My, <laughs> my kid's friend's mom oh my got God. what she thought was a pot belly pig from the pet store. And it was a tiny little pig when she got it. And within a year, that thing was fucking huge. It was like almost the size of Eve. It was a full size ass pig in her house. And I, it's the, you could smell the house yeah, walking. Yeah, it up. was bad. She had like potty pads for it. Eventually, she found somebody that had a farm and gave it to the lady at the farm. But that was insane. She, she bought what she thought was pot belly pig. It was not. That, that was insane. <laughs> Chantel has a mini ring light. She should use it. You would think. Oh, Vanessa. She looks like no face from Spirited Just Away. Hold on. Yeah. Hey, Rudy. Oh. I, hate that I, can't touch I feel like she's poking Stop. me. Is that right? How the fish Get your finger out of my face, ma'am. Is that how the fish in Finding Nemo felt? Right. I'm freaking out. When pigs grow to their environment, you have to starve them to keep them small. Mm. Oh, wow. I would never keep a pig as a pet. No, that'd be a... I wouldn't They're, even want it. Even if they stay tiny, I wouldn't want it. Those, those tiny cows are fucking cute, but I don't want one. No. If I had a farm, maybe I would want a tiny cow, but... No, but pigs yeah. are just yeah, they're creepy. disgusting they're creepy. animals. Like, they, even when it was little, like their little noses and stuff, I'm like, ah, I don't want to pet you. You kind of give me the heebie-jeebies. They and they're not like soft or snuggly. They just like, you know, they're, they're just weird animals. They are I don't disgusting want one. animals. I don't want Okay, one. talking about religion, didn't Salah say he wanted to urinate on a Christian? Okay, listen, that was something private. Not I understand why a lot of <laughs> the two biggest religions in the world stay away from eating them. Yeah. They're, they live disgustingly. Public, yeah. that was something, that's a, a fetish. It's not real, okay? Anything to do with fantasies, there's a reason it's called a fantasy. That's not real. You can't judge somebody based on a stupid fantasy, okay? But it's so, it's yeah. a fucking weird fantasy, Chantel. It's I'm, a fucking weird fantasy. I'm sorry, what was the fantasy? I saying, was uh, reading chat. Hold on, let me go back in Not here. public. That was something. That's a, a fetish. It's not real, okay? Anything to it's, do with... It's okay no, that okay. Sal it's a fucking weirdo. No. Because it's not real. Just because he's not, like, literally pooping on you doesn't mean it's not fucking weird that he wants to poop on people, Chantel. It's fucking weird. And yes, we can judge it. Fetishes are very real. Yeah. Uh, they are... In a, they are real. Yeah. Like, that's a thing. That's a desire that he has. That Whether is, he's doing it or not, he wants it. That is a thing. There is a whole community based yes. off of unusual fetishes that people get to indulge in called BDSM. Spanking, whipping, that kind of shit is not normal, but it's a thing. Yeah. It's a real thing. Fantasies? There's a reason it's called a fantasy. That's not real. You can't judge. Now he was planning on it. No, he he wanted her to twerk quickly on his face. Sperm everywhere. It was a it was a plan, Chantel. You came back too early. You were supposed to be gone one year. <laughs> come back. Oh, you got one all year. this new furniture <laughs> for new wife, and then you just showed up again. You come back one year. <laughs> <laughs> we're kink shaming your husband. I think if you want to poop on someone, it's okay. To I'm, kink yeah, shame I'm kind of kink shaming if you want to poop on people. Yeah. If you want to eat ham farts, it's fucking weird, man. Yeah, it's that, fucking weird. I, I think it's okay to shame there. Yeah. Most everything else, fine. No animals, no kids, and no poop. I feel like those are the yeah, three no, rules. No poop. No poop. It's judge just somebody weird. based on a stupid fantasy. Okay. So yeah. No, nope, it's weird, Chantel. And and what is that? What is that excuse? Does he have a, a channel making fun of a whole religion? Uh, quite. A, who is making fun of the whole religion? Nobody is making. Does he have a channel just based on making fun of a whole religion? Nobody's doing that. Is that a double? Pun there, are you serious? Solid boundaries? Because that's pretty good. <laughs> We're talking about a religion and picking apart a religion or how a Muslim worships their religion? No, he doesn't. So get out of here. You can't, you don't know how to compare. I'm not saying, oh, I almost choked on my own spit. I'm not saying Salad is a bad Muslim because he wants to poop on people. I'm saying he's fucking weirdo. That's I'm just all. saying it's weird that he wants to poop on people. It's fucking weird, man. Things Like no logic. I don't hear a drop, but I, I wanted to bring up that point specifically because I see that a lot. 
you know, and there's like, there's a huge difference. Yeah. You don't know what he's doing all day. He's gone all day. He could be out pooping on people. By that logic, when she makes fun of FFG, she's making fun of all Jews. Well, it's the same argument. They use it against each other. Yeah. And he's repented enough. He's dealt with it. Like, it's done, you know? So, I don't know. He might come, he might start making content again, but he's really he's busy with other things now. Like, he just wasn't really having like that much. Like, on prostitutes, probably. And stuff, but. I don't think they have strip clubs over there. I feel like that's not something they have. But sex work is a thing everywhere. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter what anybody says. What is the most backwards country you could think of? There's gonna be hookers. It's the oldest profession. Right. So there is somebody out there he can slide a 20 dinar note to and be like, can you twerk? Twerk quickly? Can you do it quickly? On my face? <laughs> yeah, he didn't <laughs> repent. He got caught. That's true. Yeah. I think he's just embarrassed he got caught. He's definitely embarrassed. <laughs> I have to put Whopper's candy milk in a carton. It just makes me want to pour them into it. Yeah, I like the packaging. It's cool. It's between him and a lot. Exactly. It was so a few months. I don't like this a lot. Topic. It was a few months ago. Like half of y'all. <laughs> Eight hours for 20 dinar. Our cat lady sitting there watching porn and vibrating toy. It's dumb. <laughs> yeah. It's done with, you know. But of course they're going to be said, So is there a team Natter and a team Salad or both equally stupid? Both equally like, stupid, I think. Natter is... I don't think anybody's team Natter. Natter is a whole different creep. Nate, Nader, Salad is just fucking weird. Weird and 99% sure he's a scammer. Yeah, he's definitely a scammer. But Nader is just a whole nother creep. They're not even touching the stuff with me. It's just how he treats people. Yeah. And that he fled to Canada under the LGBT refugee thing. Like, dude's just gross. Yeah. Have nothing else. Gross. Nothing else. They have Easter ones. I do miss all the like candy, the cute candy, like the Cadbury cream eggs. I wonder if they have any here because they do have Christians here. So they might in some grocery stores. They had some Christmas items. Like we respect all religions. It doesn't mean that I'm celebrating with people Easter. You know, I'm allowed to wish them happy Easter or something like this. People wish. Who said you're trying to sell people stuff for Easter? That's the difference. Yeah. You mean Ramadan Kareem and they don't celebrate. Oh, are you living Laura? <laughs> it's just what she needs, Cadbury eggs. Mm -hmm. I, don't know, I hate, I know I don't like peeps, the taste, you know? Uh -oh. He has the biggest cage here. Oh, okay, no way. So stop coming in here with your virtue signaling and poor Howie. I'm not getting him a terrarium. I'm not getting him a bigger cage. So call the SPCA here in Kuwait. They're not going to give a crap and hate me they all you want. Okay, block me out of your life if I'm such a bad person. All right, I'm not getting him a bigger cage. Poor Why Howie, don't you care about violence. your hamster that you love so much? <laughs> and yes, I'm, I can still be a bee when I want to. Yeah, you Some are, don't even just have. always, you <laughs> just are a bee. You don't have to want to be a bee. You, you just are. What is that? It's that's a bottle, in the shape of a sword. He got it. Oh, I was thinking about getting that for you, but they only make it. It's brandy. That's fine. You like brandy? No, I'm not drinking it. I just want the bottle. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, they only make it in brandy. I was looking well, at that for brandy. you for um for Christmas. I was gonna get you that, but I was like, you don't, you don't like brandy, and I couldn't find one that was whiskey. I, I like a I like brandy fine, but that's not a drinking bottle. That's a showy bottle. Okay. No treats. People can't afford it. Maybe I'll yeah, get you what kind birthday. of life would living in? Yes. Dream all right now, please. <clears throat> I'm tired of people like always like, like mind your business how people take care of their pets unless oh, they're like it. severely like it's harming tough. their pets. Get a life like people you're harming your know. pet. <sighs> your pet is being harmed. I'm never getting another hamster. Actively. Oh, you don't care. No. Yeah, you don't care unless they're like actively harming their pets. But I don't care. I I I, I am, but I don't care. Ugh. It, it. You're just because you're not beating them doesn't mean you're neglecting them. <laughs> Some hamsters don't even have bigger cages and have like no treats. People can't afford it. Okay, Facebook grandma. Just tell her it's fine. She gives the hamster if, treats. She's fattening the hamster up so it even more can't fit in its wheel. If you it's can't fine. afford to feed it, don't get it. Sorry, but uh, you like them, Ava? They put them in a cage with dozens of other hamsters. I, I know. Put that over there. I know. <laughs> I'm not sorry, but nope. Poor Howie. Yes, yeah, poor, poor Howie. Howie. I, I mean, the cage is small. Okay, you're not going to get him a bigger cage. At least get him a bigger wheel. Put it on the other side where there's room for it and not, not where that tier is. Put it on the side. Get him a wheel that is sized for a Syrian hamster. You have a wheel for a dwarf hamster. Get him a proper wheel. That's it. That's all I ask. Imagine if you had a fish. Get him a bigger aquarium. I know. Right? <laughs> 
Yeah, it's not fish needs a certain size of aquarium too. Yes. You can't get a big fucking fish and put it in a five gallon aquarium. You, you can't put. So even betta fish, the thing they sell in the cups. Yeah, you can't live those in a cup, even though people do. It's still yeah, they, abuse. They they need to be in at least two and a half gallons. Yeah, at the very least, goldfish five gallons, cichlids you're getting into 20, 30, 50 gallon. Ideally, like I had at the end of the tank, the 55 gallon, all I had in there were three blood parrots and a pleco. Yeah. That's all I had in there because they were big fish. Yeah. And, and they, they needed the room. Yeah. I have a soft spot for betas. Me too. The criticism. Okay. It's like, I've heard it a million times. So I'm just putting that message. I had a uh, flower horn in that 55 gallon and i was thinking about dumping out the ham's tank so mm. i could put the flower horn in the 125 gallon because it was getting too big mm -hmm. out for like every okay. <laughs> uh redneck for a dollar redo or sorry 777 the loads why I love always how she loads. pretends that that telling her she needs a bigger hamster cage is it's just criticizing her it, it it's not it's just telling you what you need uh, I grew up on a farm with pigs. They are nasty. If a pig dies, they'll... Hold on. Oh, I'm not even reading that part. Yeah. Came across a few... Uh, stories of pigs eating... Uh. So they eat each other, is what you're telling us. Yeah, even after they... Yeah. Gross. Gross. <laughs> oh. Disgusting. I, I don't really eat pork. I like... I like a sausage every now and then, but I think I, you just convinced me to not do that anymore. Uh, I like bacon. Uh-uh. I haven't. Uh, uh. We'll pick apart how I take. Koi and goldfish are also very gross fish. That's why you can't put koi in a regular tank. Care of my yeah, they poop a lot. Years now, They're so. very dirty fish. Oh, yeah. You can't blame me if I'm Why don't I get yet. a guinea pig? I like guinea uh. pigs, but guinea pigs need a lot of space. Like guinea pigs need a big area, and I don't have a big area to keep a guinea pig in. I already have an entire room for my rabbits. I don't have an, another room to put guinea pigs in. <laughs> oh, shit, man. I got the AAA. <laughs> I forgot. Guys, that's it. We're going to have to wrap it up here. We'll pick this up tomorrow. We got uh, we got the amber stuff hello, tomorrow, hello, too, so I'm guys. sure we can work Welcome this in. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Yeah, we'll work that in tomorrow. But, guys, we're going to call it there. Thank you for coming and hanging out. Thank you for all of the incredible donuts tonight. Welcome to the Club History Buff. Uh, make sure to go sub to Are You Serious? The channel. I'm sure she will have... Uh, some stuff to say about this two song tomorrow. Yeah, I went way too long. I'm sorry. Um, we'll be here tomorrow, maybe around the same time, depending roughly, give or take. But yes, I owe you guys a song tomorrow. I should have left like 10 minutes ago. Uh, leave a like on your way out and we will see you then. Thanks.